They were rolling? We want to make sure that this thing is full. Do I play Hitman anymore? I haven't in a while, no. I did, uh, I, I did play it a lot at one point, though. But uh, I haven't really played it recently. I've been playing this... I just gotta turn this down very slightly. Not because I hate it. I do hate it. But, um... But also, it's too loud. Braun Smithing stream when? Oh man, soon. We gotta do one really soon. Alright, these guys still have uh, some uh, some time to go here, so we can uh, we can plan and plot while they're doing it. Grass silage, we have so much grass. No chaff though, and we can we can put hay in here too if we want to. Uh, canola oil, we could probably um, get a few loads uh, moved into the thing. Might as well. Will I be playing Prison Architect 2 when it comes out? I'm sure we'll try it, yeah. We played the uh, we played the first one a lot. Let's we'll wait for it to come out and see what people think and then if it's good then uh, we'll we'll probably uh, we'll probably binge it. <laughs> I hope it's good. You never know these days, eh? Where's my olives? Oh man. I can Okay, if, if we're going to do olives, it's just going to be like a fun side project, right? I don't think realistically. If we just have a lot of money to burn. Olives and grapes. Oh, man. We've got a, we've got a, we got a blueprint to make our billion here. We've got a we've got our blueprint for success. This sounds like some like Star Fox or like Pilot Wings music or something. Christmas crustacean. I I did I start with 300k? I definitely started with like 80k, right, for the land, but I don't remember having 300k. Maybe I did. My farmer father gave me a loan of one million? If only. I don't think he did. I think he just passed down some old dilapidated um, equipment, a magical shovel, and uh, and a dream. It was land, a shovel, and a wheelbarrow. And we also had the, uh, the whippersnipper as well, right? And then we went on a leasing rampage. Some big, big leases were were made. Why is it just? Why isn't it doing like a full dump? Oh, maybe it doesn't do a full dump if it's like knows that it can't fully dump.
Oh, it's weird, isn't it? It just doesn't want to do a full dump. Alright, that can stay there. We can leave that there for now, right? Do 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 every time we I smash it to it every time we're not selling anything in August right there's nothing to sell in August we've already done our big uh, our big sales May July December for canola oil March for honey that's not a big sale though really is it The honey is just like a little bit of a, like a cherry on top. So we're looking at um, balers. If we look in here now, we've got the straw harvest pack. So you've got this uh, round baler, this square baler. There's like this small bale collecting trailer. This one's clever because it takes square bales. Um, and then it like, so it, it goes at the back of the, tra uh, uh, the back of the baler. Like it's a trailer for the back of the baler. The bale goes onto this. This thing unfolds out, and then the bale lands on here and then shifts over to the side so it actually can fit three bales on it, and then you unload the three bales into the field. It just seems like an extra step, really, but I, I don't know. It's like, it seems kind of fun. There's a new building as well, and then I think also there is a, maybe it's animals? Forge mixer for TMR, TMR. Straw bales and uses them to cover the ground of an animal husbandry with straw. Not that one. Maybe it's miscellaneous? Yeah, it's this thing here. This machine can pelletize straw and hay right on the field. Attached to the concept bale shredder, it can also be used stationary. So this thing makes pellets, which you can then uh, unload into uh, some sort of uh, trailer or storage or something. So it collects up, it works like a baler, like it'll collect up hay and then turn it into pellets. The pellets come down here and fall into this tank and then you can unfold this conveyor belt and uh, and offload them onto this. No, sorry, this is a bale shredder. So this will shred a bale to then make uh, pellets as well if you want it to. So you could have it stationary. But this thing is slow. It's so slow. The little conveyor belt takes forever. This thing's expensive, man. 320 grand for this? It's a lot, eh? That's a lot. 320 grand. Um, but I think it'd probably be better to uh, to pelletize the hay for the uh, for the cows, right? When we're gonna feed them, probably be easier to just feed them that. Because we can uh, we could just make pallets out of it and then deliver the pallets. 
to the cow shed, or just uh, just dump uh, the pellets in. But what does it do? It just takes hay and then turns it into little pellets that they can eat, little hay pellets. I think you got to put some like uh, molasses or something to make it make it into the pellets. It makes little pellets, yeah. It's a, it's a pelletizer. You could do the same with straw. I don't know what uh, the benefit of straw pellets is, but it's probably just easier to transport it around. Probably easier than bales, right? You can get a higher volume of hay and straw in pellet form into the back of a trailer and then just dump that into a, a, a cow shed for the TMR mixer. Or something. Something like that. We can mess around with it. We'll need to buy it first, though, and it's expensive. Take a little while. These guys are almost done. Look at this. God, that field looks so great when it's rolled, eh? The farm is coming along, yeah. It is. We're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly, slowly but surely, we're getting there. If we want to look at, um, I think it's sheds. Straw harvest. Yeah, look at these. So in here, you've got, you can't really see it without placing it first. But see, there's like little, there's little loading bays, which presumably you put your hay and straw into if you want. And then to the left-hand side, I think there's, this is a pellet hall, pellet hall with a crane, bale and pellet storage. So this is just, uh, a place to store all your bales and pellets, which is cool. You can't go in. It works the same way as the uh, the other uh, bale storage. It can fit a thousand pieces, which is pretty good. And then this, the pellet hole on the left, it actually has a pellet packager. So you can feed your pellets into like this little machine that then uh, makes them like into bags on, on, on uh, pallets. Pellets on pallets which you can then store in that hull. It also has a crane in the ceiling that can go from side to side. So if you want to pick up bales and feed it into the uh, shredder, you can. Or if you just want to pick up uh, big loads of hay and put it right into the machine, you can do it as well. So this is like the interim. Uh, before you, you, I think you'd buy this first before buying um, the trailer. The miscellaneous trailer because it's uh, it's much more expensive right but this thing this thing can create pellets in the field you can pull this around anywhere and create pellets right if you want to make pellets pellets on pallets pellet pallet pellet pallets pallet pellets yeah, i think it'd be i think it'd be neat it's a, it's a, it seems like a neat little pack. Some more, some more things to play around with, I guess. I don't know if we want to get bigger cow sheds eventually, too. We might get some modded ones, because 722,000 for 80 cows. But this actually has the, uh, the mixer. The mixer built in so you get the milk from the side they can go outside as well it's quite big isn't it and then you've got your uh, your mixing machine in here so you drop your hay your straw and your silage where where do you drop them there you drop it here. And then it just fills up these bays with it. And this will keep the cows 100% uh, fed, right? We're going to need some space for all this. Where's a good spot for us to uh, to build a load of uh, cow sheds? I guess there's a lot of free space over here, too.
Maybe we can get a couple down here next to this grass field. Just boom, 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 boom. Level it out a little bit. We could probably fit about four down there. It's a lot of, yeah, we're going to need some new tools for um, cows too, right? We're going to need to get a big, uh, a high capacity slurry tanker. Probably one of these ones. So that we can transport all the liquid shit from the, the uh, cow pens. And we're also going to need to grab a uh, milk uh, tanker too, right? We're going to have a lot of milk. So we'll need one of these bad boys. Probably. 32,000 liters of the good stuff. Milk. We'll also need some production buildings. Eventually. We'll need some uh, some dairies. Or one at least that we can uh, upgrade. So that we can make cheese. We want to make cheese. Make a lot of cheese. This can just be put in with our other productions. Put it like over here. Maybe not too close to the biogas, but. Maybe put it over here or something. Big cow barn with 500 cows accepts bales plus feeding robot. That might be the one, yeah. That may be. That may be the one that we do. I think that would be pretty sweet, actually. 500 cows. So that's uh, so getting the that would uh, save us some space too, right? Not that we need to be too concerned about space, but we're on no man's land. The map, which we <laughs> fuck, we've cleared a lot of it out. It's, it's kind of wild, actually, how much we've cleared out. We want to. We probably want to buy fifty and sixty eventually too, right? Grab all the trees and uh, expand uh, the big cannoli field, which will probably be a big corn field, and then uh, maybe plant some more trees up there too. There's loads of space up here. Loads of space. So we cut down all these trees and potentially even level off some of this or smooth it out a bit and expand uh, this field all the way up into here. We'd have all these trees to get rid of, too. So many trees. And then you got all this flat land up here. Oh. So 50, 50 and 60. 40 and 39 is even more trees for us to clear. And quite flat. There's quite a bit of flat land in here too if we want it. 38's really good too. Maybe another biogas plant over here. God, our biogas plant's getting big, eh? I recognize this, this Mario music. I don't know what game it's from, but I do recognize the music. Do, do, do. Yeah, there's still a lot of good land out here, you're right. Alright, in terms of pH, looking good. Nitrogen, looking fine as well. Perfect.
There's a there's a bag of fertilizer in my way. Have to do some tidying up. This guy's almost done too. Fantastic. I love not having uh, sheep jobs to do. I feel like I, I freed myself up from some labors. So we're potentially looking at not only putting um, silage into biogas. I mean, we're going to be making tons of it, but if we're going to have cows, then we're we're definitely going to need to start thinking about getting corn, right? And thinking about all the stuff that's needed for corn. So corn planting will happen in April, and we will then harvest it in October. So. It looks like it's on kind of the um, a similar harvesting schedule to cotton, right? So we'd be harvesting everything the same month in October. We'd be planting corn in April, and we'd be planting cotton in February. So the planting planting is different, but the harvesting is the same, which is it's is fine because uh, we will um, the co the cotton harvest isn't. Uh, involved right we just we just hire hire some contractors in to do it and uh i mean by the time we get all the corn done we probably wouldn't even need to hire the extra harvesters right we could just let one harvester rip through the field with auto drop on and by the time uh, we're done all the corn harvest you'll probably be done the cotton save us some money Yeah, the sheep are gone. We sold them yesterday. Alright, I think we're done today. We just gotta do some weeding tomorrow. But that's okay, that won't take long. Wonderful. Twelve thousand five hundred and thirty three from the turbine. Biogas made fifty four thousand bucks as well. That's great. Man, that is so good. All right, let's get this guy's spot spraying.
You don't have to cut the grass again until um, November. Biogas is making almost as much as the turbine claimed to make. Yeah, I know. Come on, clothes, you can do it. What is that? What is the angle? Re there we go. Get this honey loaded up. So overnight, these these two fermenters don't uh, don't completely empty out the bunker. That's good. That's good. That means that we're not uh, potentially operating at a loss, right? We had 600k yesterday, what did we get? We messed around with a bunch of different slurry tankers and configurations and stuff, and then in the end we got a mod that turns digested into solid fertilizer. We blew through a little bit of money for all that. Solar panels? No, I still haven't built any. We need about, we need about a million bucks worth of solar panels to generate, on average, about forty grand a month, which is pretty good. It's actually pretty good. This thing can uh, harvest corn, but we want a we, we want a forage harvester for the corn. We don't actually want to harvest corn that we eat, right? We just want to harvest chaff so that we can get the biogas plant filled up with silage. I'm blasting through some of my wood supply. That's okay. It's for the greater good. No, it's not making money in the wood pile, you're right. It's nice to have some uh, some reserves though. <laughs> 
some strategic, some strategic wood reserves. That's the one. Yeah, we need them. Two more gigantic bog rolls. Oh. Let's get this guy uh, into canola four. Let's do uh, two headlands for this. Nice. God, we're making such good money now. I feel like we've we've hit kind of a sweet spot with uh, money. It's rolling in faster than ever. Hey, Spine Doc two two eight zero. Thanks so much for the raid. What's up? Next big purchase? I don't know. We, I guess um, we got all the um, oil to sell in December, so we'll get a big uh, we'll get a big bumper amount of money. Maybe we can get the cow shed. If we get the cow shed uh, first, we can slowly start filling it up with cows, and we could just start by feeding them um, grass. And then uh, get all the stuff that we need for um, hay stuff. We'll need a, a tether and a wind rower. And then we can either make um, pellets or, or bales. Maybe get like a Another baler? Fucking bales, though. They're so annoying. Yeah, we could acquire another sprayer, actually. It makes sense, right? Especially as the farm grows, we'll have even bigger fields. Double up on the jobs. There's not one on sale. So if we want to get the sea and sea and spray technology, it's 91 grand for this thing. I, I honestly think this is worth getting. Working with 24, we'll get the 28 meters. Fill it up with some herbicide. Sea and spray, I, I think, pays for itself very quickly as well. It's um, it's incredible. I, I just love how efficient it is on the herbicide. Like you can do a whole field without having to fill it up. For me, that's a big thing. If something can stay out there without having to to fill up, and it could just work in the background while I do other stuff, 
that's worth the most to me. I think that's the best. tool the big field here and then the other guy can get started on the uh, the right hand side when it's uh, when he's done that other field so it'll be done in no time work with this 28 multiple tools with the headland yep Oh, he's gonna go that way. Sure. Okay, let's copy this and get him started on the left. Yes. Look at all this look at all this precision spraying. So good. I love that. God, I love that. Um, are we going to buy 50 at least? If not 60 as well? Okay, we'll buy 50, 60. And then we can start uh, having to go at clearing uh, some of it out, right? So this is all our land now. We don't have to worry about lawsuits anymore. Lawsuits be gone. Get all this cleared out, and then we can uh, extend some of these fields in the winter, right? We got the winters coming up. Huge expansions. We're gonna, we're working smarter, not harder, right? That's the that's the key. We're, we're working hard and playing harder with our vinyl uh, cat suit. I got mine on. I don't know about you guys. 
Hey Day Man, thanks for the 333. Hey Sips, I'm a big fan, been around since the Volt series. Haha, <laughs> question. Do you ever crank Nickelback and smash kids out in Fortnite no build? All the time, man. Thank you so much for the donation. Like, every day I do that. When I'm not doing this, I'm doing that. Guaranteed. My word is my bond. I don't know if you can do a uh, course play for timber cutting. Go to, it's just silo work. Waiting for unloader, yeah, you won't, uh, you won't cut anything. Course play. Equally, I don't think the AI, the non course play AI can do it. Maybe auto drive, which I think if we're doing corn, we need to think about potentially getting auto drive just to make the whole harvest a little bit easier. I could get AI to deliver the logs, yeah, but I still gotta load them up. I don't think he'll come and pick them up. I know forage harvesters can have trailers attached to them, but um, they f they'll, it'll, it'll fill up so fast. We need uh, we need a way for um, the stuff to go back to the silo and have the tractors come back in a some sort of sequence. Otherwise, it's gonna just take forever. And it, I guess we can get uh, course play to output to it, but when it fills up. It's going to be all fiddly trying to get them, uh, you know, to swap trailers and return them and stuff. I think with auto drive we can smooth it out a little bit, make it a little bit more fuck. Trailers with the pipes that like the uh, auger wagons, you mean? Yeah, that would be that would work. Maybe get one of those big mother bins. Just have people empty it into that, and then we can uh, and then we can empty. We can do, we can set up uh, tractors to just empty from that. Especially for this big field, we'll have we'll need to do it right. Otherwise, it's just going to take too long.
So many little trees. Uh, the the big uh, alger wagons uh, that can just sit in the field aren't, aren't even that expensive, right? They're like just over a hundred grand, but uh, with, when they're full, you can't pull them. So it, we we'd be using it kind of like as a mobile silo before taking it to the uh, fermentation silo, which will also need uh, more capacity on for those too, right? Start getting corn chaff going to be big volumes. You think uh, Strippin's in Japan right now? You think he's listening to this? You think he's in his hotel room just like jamming out to some of this right now? You would be? Man. I think I would be too, actually. This is great music. I would list be listening to this music while I put my makeup on every day. You know? This sounds like makeup uh, putting on music. Or Goodbye Horses. That, that's a good one to put makeup on too. Would you fuck me? Check the mods for some better and bigger plows. Extending the Giga Field will take too long. We can... Uh, I think there's a, a mod that people seem to like uh, that lets you use a cultivator to plow a field. I think we can get that to make our lives a little bit easier. I think we've I think we've used uh, the plows enough now, right? We get the idea. How big is the current one? Well, it's angled. I think it's 12, 12 meters, but it's at an angle, so it's really not 12 meters. It, I mean, it is technically, but it doesn't feel like 12 meters. Ask your mom what 12 meters feels like. That's a big fuck up on my part. It's all right. It all goes to the same place, right?
How long does it take to get rid of the stumps? Like two seconds. Just use my magical... See, the thing is, when you inherit an empty farm from your um, mystical legendary grandfather, who was a titan in the agriculture, local ag agricultural uh, industry, you have to have a few perks, right? So, yes, we got a field. But we also got a magical shovel and a magical hacksaw, which is only fair, right? We are doing a Stardew Valley roleplay, and there are some magical elements to it. So it's technically not cheating, is what I'm trying to say. You have to have some perks. It's all, yeah, it's all canon. It's fine. It's fine. There's no, there's no cheating happening here, that's for sure. We managed to, to think up RP reasons for everything, so it should be it should be absolutely fine. Everything we do, there's a reason for it, right? Like we have to go to bed before 8 p.m. every night because of the werewolf. That's why we have to sleep through the night. That's why you'll never see any nighttime work happening on this farm, because. It's basically like, um, don't starve, you know, past a certain point, you just can't be out. You gotta be in your tent, restoring your sanity, or in your shack, eating a nice warm casserole. You just hit someone with the PAB? Oh, that's great. What a feeling, eh? I'll never forget the first time I, I hit Al Smithy with that. I'll never forget it. What a moment. Oops. I lift it a little. I don't recognize any of these tunes, by the way. I'm probably, probably some other Super Mario games that I never played. I don't know. Oh, I recognize that bit. Actually, I recognize this whole song. It's just a, a different style to the one I'm used to. You ever? I, I love how in, in the in uh, Super Mario World the music changes when you're on Yoshi. It has like more like of a gallopy feel to it, you know. It goes like doo 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 doo. It's got like some like fucking uh, like coconut galloping or something in the back. Bongos, is it bongos?
This is the intro music for Pilot Wings. Pilot Wings 64, press start. Is this Zelda music? Hmm. Well, I never. Great tree felling. We've almost cleared this whole area. All that money spent on new fields, we're making it back immediately by doing this. Do you know that we almost have enough passive income uh, every day now to, to buy a new field every month if we wanted to? It's kind of exciting. You can almost buy the whole map. It would take us a little while, but it could be done. And we have all the machinery that we need to make money out of the, the new fields immediately. buy four of the cheapest tractors every single day. True, yeah. Yeah, we got about 85k. Actually, I think we have more in in passive income. If we uh if we just auto sell the uh the uh the paper roll every uh every month and turn that into passive as well, where we don't actually need to interact with it. Yeah, it'd be like 90k. 90k a month. It's pretty good. I haven't had any updates from uh, Red uh, 1 or Rogue, Rogue 2 in, uh, in Giga Canola. I see that they're still out there working though, so that's at least promising. It's nice to not have to babysit Al for once. I think Al's just cracking on with his, with his jobs for once. Without any trouble. We, are we are we entering into a uh, a renaissance period I'm trying to do the uh, the renaissance music from um, civilization one still the civ game I'm most fi familiar with out of all of the civ games first one. I still love building my cool palace. How do you do? I'm good, uh, Roy. Roy 3 million. How are you? Hey, uh, hey, Rich's skill, thanks so much for the 52 months. 52 months.
gosh. The local tree population just doesn't have a clue what hap what just happened to it. It's a tree mageddon out here. You put on your makeup while listening to this? You think this is makeup application music? This 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 is the uh, music that reminds me of uh, somebody somebody with a, a a white cat in their bedroom. It's it's evening time. Their room is lit by the glow of a computer, and they're wearing headphones and they're doing their homework. I'm sure that that's a familiar image to all of you in the year 2024, right? Can you visualize that? Look at all this. We have cut down so many trees. There's so many more to cut up here too. I think these guys are probably almost on spring, big field. And her head is slowly bobbing to the music. Yes. We all know. We all know the scene, right? We've all seen a cool desktop wallpaper with that on it, or people picking that as their avatar in a popular online game. I don't know what this music is from. No, I really have no clue. What is it from? Is it from a Zelda game or something? Pokemon. Is it Pokemon music? I know what this music's from. This is when you beat um, Super Mario World, isn't it? Isn't this like the ending music? very satisfying not only finishing super mario world but getting all the stars as well really good all right just head back with this load it's a pretty big one we don't want any tipping. I also don't want to drive through the fields right now because we could damage these young crops, right? Burr, 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 burr.
Yes. Whoa. What a load. Uh, this isn't going anywhere. I've strapped this on perfectly. see how they've done here good very good he missed a couple of little spots but it's fine it's fine dump some more silage in here. Yeah, it hardly puts a dent in the herbicide tank. You're right. It's great, isn't it? Whoa! Let's go grab another load of wood while this guy finishes up. And then when he's done, we're done with September. On to October, which is the cotton harvest, which uh, we'll, uh, we'll lease some machines to, uh, to help us get it done quickly. I'll probably just cut some more wood while it's happening. I'll have to run the bales back and forth as well. Actually, uh, let me just quickly check to see, because we, we upgraded the, uh, the spinnery, didn't we? So how much... Okay, we got fabric, uh, paper roll I didn't want to look at. Okay, wool can uh, deactivate, it's all done. There's still 114,000 liters of cotton left over from last year's harvest. What's up, Milchine, how you doing? You haven't missed much, no, we just sprayed the, uh, we just finished rolling the, uh, canola fields and we, we're, we're just finishing up spraying them. I'm going to harvest the cotton uh, tomorrow. Yes.
Look at this load. Look at this impressive load. Let's see if I can get this guy to uh, create a job, go to, field work, go to. He's off. All right, the spraying's done. Herbicide intact. We've got tons of it. Yes. No, we haven't spread any more digested. We we sacked off the hoses and stuff. It was just too much. It just was. It, it was just not working. It just kept disconnecting all the time. It was so annoying. The the uh, the first one we we did it okay. Well, we had some troubles with the first one, and then we did it. But uh, it, it turns out we probably uh, weren't uh, doing it right either. It's not a it's not a. You have to do it twice. I think you gotta you gotta spray shit, cultivate, and then spray shit again to get the pH level. So it's like way more work. I think where we're at now is probably better. I think it's just a bit easier. All right. Looking good? It's bedtime. Yeah, the spread on solid fertilizer is great, and the fact that we can make uh, fertilizer with digestive is very good too. 47,000 bucks! We made 47,000 bucks from the turbine in September. That's a record. That has to be a record, right? That has to be a record. How much from biogas? Uh, 60. Plus paper roll, which is another 30 plus. I think we, I think we made over 100k in September. It's pretty good.
All right. Let's get these guys started. CP field work, field position. Can make a start up here, it's fine. Um, let's do one headland, three tools. Headland corners, we'll keep them smooth. We'll go sharp. Oh, I love this one. This is a good one. All right, we want to copy this. This guy is going to start on the left. This is a uh, this is a uh, a direct um, cedar, right? We wouldn't need to do any um, cultivating. No fertilizer on the cedar, but three thousand one hundred liters of seed, eight meters spread. It's not bad. Can maybe pick it up. Let's do the harvest first, though. This guy can do center. Turn on automatic drop. This guy can do right. Turn on the automatic drop for this as well. This is Super Mario 2, right? Is this Super Mario Brothers 2? Yeah, who put those there? I, good question. I'm racking my brains, I, I don't know who could have put those there. Biogas, fuck. That's wild. There's a modded version of the Amazon with direct seeding. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. So it is a nice, um, a nice cedar, isn't it? No, no, I didn't almost let the silo go empty. It was, it was full. It doesn't, it doesn't completely empty out on, on this current system. So it's, we're good. All right, we are harvesting cotton. <laughs> you could jerk off to this. 
I would find it difficult to jerk off to this. I feel like I'd be I'd be ripping the skin off, like I'd be going so fast. Twigs here, too. Did I miss any? I don't believe so. Wow. I actually cleared this whole area out. Crazy. I don't see any stumps either. We've actually been pretty pretty good at getting everything. Squirrel's getting evicted. Look at how, look at how, how cleared out it all is now. Yoshi's Island? I don't think I ever played it. I do like uh, some of the Mario music, though. It's, it's fun, isn't it? It's just silly. It's silly music. My son did not finish Mario Wonder. He's he's played it. He played quite a bit of it, but I don't know, he just started playing Fortnite, and that's it. That's all he all he talks about now. He got he got the Solid Snake skin yesterday. He was all stressed out because he thought it was going to be hard to get, and he didn't want to like not get it. All of his friends at school play Fortnite and stuff. There, I think they're just that is just what they do, you know? It's all they talk about at school all day long. I can't wait to get home and boot up Fortnite. Yeah, it's it's sad that games make people kids feel like that, but what can you do? It's, it's all they want to... It's, it, the, the, the game's popular and everybody that he knows plays it and that's all he wants to play. He's too young to, to sort of be able to, you know, 
to think about it. Like it's just it's like it's uh, it's like an impulsive thing. I I don't understand like uh, how they decide to put s stuff into Fortnite because like a lot of it is like. It feels like a lot of it is, like, old stuff that, like... I, I mean, he's never played Metal Gear. He He's familiar with Snake, but I don't think he understands, like... Where Snake is... Like, like uh, Solid Snake is, is iconic, but... He's never played or even heard of the Metal Gear games. He just knows who Snake is. It's weird, isn't it? They had like, uh, like, you know, like the Wu Tang st stuff. Like he, he only knows ab about Wu Tang through me. It's, it's weird the stuff that they put in the game. It almost seems like more directed at adults, but then kids love it. But it's all references and stuff that they, they don't really get. You know. Yeah, there's a Wu Tang bung uh, bundle in Fortnite. I bought it. <laughs> You get it wasn't great, but it was just kind of fun, you know. It came out like years ago. Like, I, I still really like Wu-Tang, but, I mean, I grew up listening to them, I, I guess it's the, is the difference. I, I don't know if young people really seek out Wu-Tang now, because they're, they're all, like, 60-year-old men at this point. Maybe they want to listen to, like, newer stuff, like Lil Bow Wow and Lil Romeo. <laughs> I'm showing my age. I'm showing my age big time here. I don't even know what people listen to now. TikTok has revitalized this idea of being an old head. What does that mean? Somebody who listens to older music? I mean, I, I guess I would say this, but I feel like a, a lot of the old stuff really still stands up, but that's because I don't listen to any new music. <laughs> so I'm just like locked in the past. Uh, I've turned off my targeting computer for this uh, this run, actually. I just don't need it anymore. Fallout songs count as oldies? Yeah, those are like the uh, the oldest oldies. But yeah, I'd imagine that they count. Yeah. It's not, sorry. I'm doing it again. I'm doing the, uh, the Kerbal. I don't have the right, uh, the right view.
What did these trees ever do to me? Oh, nothing, they're just in my way. I need to plant corn. This is the sad reality of industrial scale agriculture. a bit like the Wing Commander music. It does have a bit of a Wing Commander vibe to it, you're right. This is the music from um, a link, link to the Past, right? God, I love this game. Man, I played it so much when I was a kid. I was so excited to get it. I just, uh, fuck, it was amazing, but also I, I remember just before it came out, when they were advertising it in like uh, Nintendo Power and stuff, doing the previews, oh god, it just looked so good. So, um, I love the, uh, the look of uh, SNES games. Just, they're just so like colorful and uh, they just look so interesting. I don't know. It's really great console. Super Mario World, I still think looks fantastic. Like, it, it, it just looks great. The stupid sound when they talked. Whoops. We have had a mishap. It's okay. We can sort it out. Isn't this like Dr. Mario music? Oh, I hope they have DuckTales on here. They probably don't, right? It all seems to be like Nintendo music. Life is like a hurricane here in... Fuck. 
Fuck these fucking trees. Every time you try to run. How are our, um, our cotton harvesters doing? Oh, they're doing great. Grass is, uh, is not being cut till tomorrow. It's ready today, but there's an, there'll be another growth stage. We'll get a higher yield tomorrow if we do it. Because actually now we do want yield from grass because of the uh, silage, right? Uh, and then uh, once we're doing uh, corn... This is Street Fighter music? Oh, this actually... I could cry listening to this. The nostalgia. Fucking hell. I love the Street Fighter. I, man, I love playing Street Fighter. Me and my friend used to go to the arcade and watch people play it and stuff. Fuck, it was so awesome. Sonic Boom! <laughs> oh. I don't know why this one hits so hard. Holy shit. The, uh, the first Mortal Kombat as well. Oh, God. That's so awesome. Man, I loved Mortal Kombat as well. That was great. Another one that we used to watch people play at the arcade. I mean, we would be there for hours. We'd ride our bikes down the hill to the arcade. Super hot, like, summer day. I mean, uh, hot, I'm talking like 40 degree weather like in the summer in Ottawa it was so hot we get on our bikes and we'd bike down to the mall go to the arcade it was nice and air conditioned we'd just stay there all day we barely even got to play the game because they were so popular like this is before all these games were out on console or anything right like the only way you could play them was at the arcade no no we had to wear shoes on our bikes to go to the mall it was quite far, and also I don't think they would let you in the mall without your shoes on. Mortal Kombat was pretty violent back in the day. I remember the first time... <laughs> the first time my parents ever saw it, we were going on a camping trip. I was a little bit older, and uh, we brought one of my friends with us on the camping trip and uh, on the way to the driving to the campsite we stopped off to uh, to get some gas and stuff get some drinks some cokes some cold cokes for the car and uh, in the convenience store uh, they had Mortal Kombat and me and my friend uh, like this is just when it came out me and my friend were like going crazy like I can't believe it they've got Mortal Kombat ah! So I convinced my parents to let us stay and, and play a bit. And uh, my dad was watching. And he did the uppercut into the spike pick, pit. And my dad was like, this is insane. Like, he could not believe it. 
He's like, this is fucking insane what you're playing right now. And me and my friend were just like, this is the fucking best. Shut the fuck up, Dad. Let us do our thing. Tatsu Maki said Bukyaku. Dude, I'm getting you. <laughs> no, no, wait, that's, uh, that was Street Fighter, right? That was the thing that Raiden said in, in Mortal Kombat. Alibaba! Alibaba! Ali. And, uh, and the, and the Liu Kang bicycle kick as well. So good. I got the Super Nintendo version that had, uh, no blood in it. Remember? They had, like, sand. And then the Genesis version had the, the cheat code you could put in to enable blood. Finish him. Yeah, so I liked Mortal Kombat 2 as well, like with all the uh, the babalities and stuff. Friendship. Friendship. Mortal Kombat 2 had the uh, had the noob cybot uh, thing as well, right? It was like a there was like a special way to to do the encounter, but it was like a like a like a mirror match sort of thing, right? Oh no, he was like a, he was like just a blacked out Sub Zero Scorpion guy. And Mortal Kombat 2 had uh, was it Reptile, the green one? The green uh, scorpion Sub Zero looking guy, and he did the uh, he did like that that the poison uh, finishing move. He like had a snake head underneath. That was reptile. Yeah. Noob Cybot wins. Flawless fatality. Yeah, Reptile did the, the spit thing, right? Like the poison spit. What was it? Uh, Johnny Cage ripped your arms off and... Oh, no. Johnny Cage uh, did the uh, did the nut punch, right? He did the splits and punched you in the nuts. Was it Jax that tore your arms off and beat you with them? Kano ripped your heart out? Raiden just did, like, electrocution, but... As the games went on, there were more and more fatalities, right? There was multiple fatalities and babalities and friendships and stuff. I was watching uh, the most recent Mortal Kombat. I, I, I was watching it a bit on uh, Twitch when it came out. People were streaming it. And, uh, oh my god, this is insane now. It just looks nuts. I'm, like, it looks so nuts, I'm scared to play it. And the most recent Street Fighter was, was fun. Remember we did the hashtag ad for it? Uh, it was it was really good actually really fun the character creator especially was so good I'm deforesting here. I don't know what this music's from. 
It sounds like Mario, but I don't know which one. Oh, oh. oh we gotta go pick up uh, some cotton bills. I'll go do that. Fuck. These branches are so annoying. I'll take this, uh, this load too. Smash Brothers? Oh. What was the... What was the, uh... The Smash Brothers game, uh... Was it the very first Smash Brothers game that, that made it uh, a, a competitive game? Or were there iterations of the game before it uh, caught on as, like, a... A competitive fighter? Because it is quite competitive, isn't it, Smash Brothers? If I'm not mistaken. Melee was the pinnacle of competitive smash. There's like uh there's like big time pro smash pros and stuff, right? It's got its own scene and everything. I don't know if it's a massive well, maybe it is, I don't know. The GameCube version was the big one? Most of the pros still use GameCube controllers? Wow, really? What's cooking? What's up, Daniel? Not much. Just deforesting the whole map. Thinking about cows. Oh, actually, you know what? This can go right into the uh, into the mill, right? Need to fill it up anyway. It's one of the uh, one of the woods is poking out of the top there.
Yes. I will go pick up uh, the cotton. Don't worry. We got time. They're not done yet. Maybe we'll just do it all in one go. Wait for them to actually finish. I think they're almost done. God, I can't believe how many trees I've cut down. Insane. Where's that stump? That's oh, here. Oh, I can't even pick that up. I don't know what the... I've, I've heard this before, but I don't know what it, where it's from. F-Zero. Oh, it's Wii music. Oh, it's just generic Wii music? Oh, right. I'm coming. Looks like somebody just left a big bale down at the end of the field. sound minecrafty to me. Our first load of... <coughs> Sorry, my... <laughs> I'm going through puberty. Uh, our first load of uh, cotton of, of this year. Exciting times. I gotta go find all the other bales. <clears throat> One of the harvesters is done. That's great. Still a little bit more to do.
Yes. Did I ever play RuneScape? No, I never did. I feel like I would get addicted to that game. It sounds like it has a lot of stuff that I like in it. I think we can use um, the for the forge harvesters can be used as mowers as well, right? Or at least one of them can be. So maybe we get that one, and then we just swap attachments depending. Seems like it would be better to have that, right? And then we can use it throughout the year. It doesn't feel like um, a big waste. empty the uh, the bale right reset the bale counter lower the harvester fold the harvester oh you got to turn off the automatic drop that's why right You can't, uh, you can't turn this thing when it's, uh, deployed. You gotta, like, you gotta get into position first, and then lower it. Otherwise, it doesn't, it doesn't work. There you go. I was thinking about remember we were saying yesterday it'd be cool if you could like rent out your equipment it'd be neat if there was a shed where if you parked your vehicle in it it meant that you're not using it obviously 
and then it could calculate based on the time of year and the likelihood of somebody wanting to rent your vehicle and use it. As long as it's in there, it could it could generate passive income. And then the minute it's not in there, it stops because you're using it, right? That'd be a pretty cool mod. I don't know how much effort it would take to make something like that, but it would just be a nice way of making some passive income off of your farm assets, you know? should use up some fuel and uh, repair or yeah you'd have to like factor in maintenance and stuff for sure but uh fuel you'd, you'd have to have stuff fueled up but i mean if you're renting stuff out you'd expect people to return them with at least as much fuel as you rented it out with right i mean it's only it's only fair but maintenance and stuff you you would ha you'd be responsible for. Maybe even make it like you'd probably have to fine tune it. But you'd have to you'd want to have like a a quicker um, like degradation of maintenance, right? While it's being rented out, it would just cost you a little bit more to to maintain your vehicles. I don't think it'd be too cheaty. I think it would make uh, it a little bit more realistic, right? I mean, those harvesters, they're just sitting there. And it's only because I have one crop type planted. But, like, if you look, I mean, this could be harvesting in Ju June, July, 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 August even. Um, and that's about it. <laughs> now, what else can we... Uh, sorghum, August, September... Um, what else can you harvest with these? Oat, canola, barley, wheat, sorghum, not grass. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I imagine a lot of farmers don't own their own harvesters because they are expensive, right? They're just... You're talking lots of money to buy one. Uh... What has happened here? So many missed spots. How do they miss, like, a whole line up there? What the hell? In the UK, there are farming collectives where the collective owns a harvester and they share it. Do you get a lot of... There's, um... There's, like, a big uh, collective in uh, Jersey for potato farming as well, which I think is the same. So you have all... You have all these farms that sort of, um line into the collective and the collective is kind of like a an overarching management of all of these farms so they'll schedule them plant them tend to them and then ultimately harvest them or at least lend the equipment to do all of this stuff uh, but then they have a huge um potato packing plant as well with cold storage, everything, sorting, like, it's, it's incredible, actually, and, um, I think it's, I think it's, like, a, a really viable way to, uh, to make it work, because otherwise, I think it's just too expensive, and ultimately, maybe not worth it, you know, uh, we gotta turn on the harvester, 
all these bits that were missed. Yeah, even Clarkson has, uh, yeah, you gotta hire people in and borrow equipment and or get a friend to help you or, or whatever. Like, it, I mean, I, I think that's it's probably fairly common in the real world. Yeah, Clarkson's Farm is worth a watch for sure. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I didn't think I would. I'm not a big Clarkson fan, but um, the 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 show is uh, is is good. E even though he's in it, it is good. It, it's it's worth it. Yeah, I I I didn't think I would like it at all, but uh, I found myself really enjoying it. can't believe how much these guys missed. You just can't get the staff anymore. I mean, we'd be done by now if it wasn't for these huge blunders. We'd be at home having cuddles and soups. I'm never using this contracting company ever again. Do you know what else would be neat? It'd be neat if um, instead of having to, to host a server, you know where people have to like drop in and stuff it'd be cool if there was like a like an online element to the game whereby you could uh you could contract out jobs if you say you didn't want the ai to use it and you had an internet connection it'd be cool if you could like post a contract and then uh somebody could like take the contract connect to your farm do the job get paid leave it'd be kind of neat I guess it would be so open to people abusing and fucking other people's stuff up or whatever, but I don't know, it'd be kind of cool. People would draw huge dinguses and stuff, yeah, I know, but in theory, it'd be kind of fun, though, no? You put, like, a rating system in, like a contractor rating system. You could review, like, who's applied for the contracts and see what their rating is, <laughs> see if you want to chance it. Kind of like on eBay, <laughs> like an eBay rating. That'd be awesome. Oh, that'd be so funny. <laughs> Imagine you go on a date with somebody. Yeah, I've got a uh, 10 out of 10 uh, farmer certified farming sim 22 rating, if that counts for anything. No, but it'd be cool if you could post contracts. Um, and and offer more if people use like their own equipment. Imagine you could just be like a uh, like a contractor, but it'd be more fun contracting for actual people than just like the contracts in the game, right? Take your equipment, see other people's setups and stuff. Oh my god, it never ends. What a can of worms we've opened here.
I watched the episode of um, Slow Horses last night where Lamb's in the cemetery and he gives the pep talk. Fuck me. He's so fucking funny in that show. It's great. Look, there's a whole bunch of shit at the end here that they didn't do as well. I think I, I think on my settings, they, pr they're probably not lifting their tools in time and stuff, right? We'll have to, we'll have to ch uh, check the settings for all the, uh, the least vehicles, or when we have enough money, just buy our own fleet of these. Just get like ten of them. And cry because they sit there all year doing nothing until the uh, the big moment. But at least we'd be able to save all the settings and stuff. It might be worth it. We almost got another full bail from that, though. It's pretty good. I don't know which baler, uh, which harvester is ours. So I'm just going to return the least ones now that they're all emptied out. And, um, whatever one we're left with is uh, the one that will return to the shed. So this one's empty. This one's empty. And this one's empty. Okay, perfect. All right. Least items. Ah! Ah! Harvest complete. Uh, all we got to do now is uh, is prep the field, but we have until February to do that. So we'll do it uh, throughout the winter alongside uh, field creation and stuff. Now that we're done this and we're we're heading into into that, is a good time to uh, grab that mod, isn't it? So that we can use cultivators to plow instead of the plows, which just take way too long. Link! Wake up, Link! Get the modded Amazon, too? What about the Valderstad, though? We could just use that. I don't mind. This is how tofu is made, yes. The spinnery has been upgraded, so now has the capacity to store all the bales. There's none just being stored outside, which is pretty good. Nice. See, now that's all parked up in here, I could take some uh, rental money. It would be really good. <laughs> it's parked up in here. Give me some rental money. Oh, wait. 
let me get this, uh, let me grab this mod. Now's a good time to do it, right? So we're looking for cultivator, cultivator, create fields with cultivator. This mod enables the field creation for cultivators, disc harrows, power harrows, spaders, and subsoilers. This is this is fine, right? This is the one that we want, I think. Cultivator field creator. Instead of using the plow, it'll t it'll take uh, a lot less time. fields in the need plowing state or does it count as plowing too i don't know i don't know if it leaves it in a needs plowing state i mean we got the plows i feel like it just cultivates we might uh, have to take some stones out or if it's just yellow stones we can roll them back in it's fine we'll give it a go yeah we won't uh, do it until um after we've harvested the grass though right just before we skip the rest of the day, I gotta make sure this bunker is filled. Great. Cotton harvest complete. It, it's, it takes no time when you just throw a lot of machines at it, right? And it makes so much money as well. another 60 grand this month from biogas time for cows yeah we're getting there we are getting them it's just uh, we want to get the uh, the big pen it's like we'll need uh, some more money shit tank is looking pretty full yeah it should be uh well we'll uh we'll need some uh fertilizer so it should uh should use up a whole bunch to create more fertilizer. I think the the fertilizer is probably full right now. I don't know if we can sell the fertilizer though. There's no sell point for fertilizer. Turn this load. We're kind of uh, we're kind of at past all the harvest now, so we're just sort of skipping days. Well, we gotta do grass tomorrow, but that, that won't take long. While it's well, actually, fuck, we need to figure something out with the grass because it it's so uh, finicky getting all the uh, getting all the uh, forge wagons back to the silo and stuff. It's annoying.
pivot to corn. Well, we'll still need grass because we'll need hay. But we could probably turn uh, canola one into uh, just a grass field that we can... Uh, so we won't need that much hay. Like, we, we will need hay, but we won't need, like... I doubt we'll go through that much. And we'll need some straw, too, right? Um, oh, shit. Did I... Oh, yeah, no, I've done this already. Solid fertilizer. We got so much solid fertilizer. Holy crap. Oh, we have 250,000 liters of <laughs> solid fertilizer right now. Grass is still going. Wood planks are fine. Canola oil, fine. Furniture planks is starting to go down a little bit. We have to check our... Um, sales right because i think uh canola oil we're going to be selling either this month or next Two hundred and fifty plus hours no i haven't done grapes or olives i heard they're a big pain in the ass and they don't make that much money so i haven't done it silage canola oil is uh 1904 at the farm shop right now I think that's pretty good for canola oil. Yeah, 1904 is great. Okay, we'll sell it all today. Uh, let's get uh, these jobs started first. is looking fine that's some good looking grass all right um that Get this tipped in here, too. Nice. Okay. Um, and this guy has started collecting. Perfect. Start loading all this stuff up. Uh, we got to sell the oil today too, right? We're selling it to the farm shop. How much did biogas 
make? Biogas made 75k in October. Holy crap! Holy jeez. 23k from the wind turbine as well. Clothes? Stop this. Silage is already going um, to the. Um... Oh, you mean without having to tip it into the into the loader? Oh, maybe yeah. just want to deliver to this thing not looping Uh, farm shop for um, canola oil, right? We need more biogas, but we need uh, stuff to put into it as well. I don't know if we'll have enough. Um... Uh, we probably have enough grass to keep it full. I'm not sure, actually. We'll see. It'd be great if I could somehow automate this so that when he's full up, he could just go back, drop off, and then resume from his last waypoint. It'd be ideal. I'll start loading up all this oil. There's going to be tons of it. Thank you. 
<laughs> Remember the other warehouse we had? Oh. <laughs> Loading it through the wall. That was fun. Nice. A hundred and two grand from uh, that full load. it for that one. fit a couple more it's just awkward because the uh, the flatbed itself has a much bigger pickup range than the trailer so you gotta like get in there When is Star Trucker out? I'm f I feel like I've asked this recently, but isn't it uh, coming out kind of soon? <laughs> car fucker. Yeah, I like that. I'd play car fucker. Okay, that's it for oil. That's all of it. Once again, rich. There's nothing on sale today. Not a thing.
Clothes we sell in May, furniture we sell in uh, July. So there's a couple of uh, there's a couple of points throughout the year where we just get a big injection of uh, of cash from uh, our, our other productions. Clothes are the best because. Uh, they, they sell for so much and there's not many of them. There's like one truckload. It's so easy. How much is the cow pen? Seven ninety, I think. It's expensive. And that's just 80 cows as well. I suppose that's a lot though. It'll be a lot of a lot of poop and milk. A lot of poop and milk. For 790 you could buy another windmill. This is true actually, yeah, I could buy myself another windmill. Just live off the profits. I think uh, I think once we tra when, once we move over to doing corn instead of uh, grass for all of our silage, it'll be a lot easier, right? Because grass will just be cutting um, and then uh, turning it into hay, and even then we could do hay pellets if we wanted to, which might be a little bit easier even instead of bales. Anything to keep bales off the headlines? Not just that, it takes so long to um, collect them and store them and do stuff with them. I feel like pellets at least is something you just put into a trailer and then you're, you're good, you know? Like it's expensive to make them into pellets, but we could step into it as well, you know? And I mean, we're making money now too, so it's not so bad. in the loop. This is still the Rags to Riches playthrough. This is the one that we started with. It's the same one. I don't know if we can set the silage to distribute. I'll take a look. I'm not sure if you can, though. I don't know if it will automatically distribute to the biogas plant. Nah, nothing's on sale.
Um, let's see. Grass silage, storing, spawning, selling, distributing. Let's see what happens. Do you think every hour it'll do it? So at 10 o'clock, it should fill it up. Oh, maybe it doesn't fill this bunker up, though. Maybe it just fills up the uh, the actual fermenter. <coughs> Let's see. There's 108,000 in here. Inside the fermenter, yeah, I think it has actually just put it in there without the without the bunker. I think it kind of it's weird that it just puts it in there without needing the bunker, right? So like we could we could use this and just not buy the bunkers. They're expensive, but it feels like a little bit. Okay, so before we prep the fields today, which we, we're we not in a rush to do, we're going to uh, probably ex extend them a bit, right? Connect these ones up, make a weird, a weird field here. Oh, yeah, we still want the bunker for other inputs. Yeah, you're right, actually. We'd still need it for um, manure and stuff. And um, slurry, eventually. Uh, how many times have we heard this one song in different variations? Like, this has got to be, like, the sixth or seventh time. It is good, yeah. You're right. We gotta get corn. I think corn uh, should be the next uh, thing we start saving up for, right? And then planting. We gotta fuck this grass off. I mean, uh, we, we'll need uh, a little bit of grass to make hay, like I keep saying, but... Harvesting it like we are right now is a pain in the ass. Why corn? For uh, silage. less silage per year but you harvest less less often yeah I know but we can and we can scale it up too right it probably it's it's you harvest it less often and hopefully it'll be less uh, involved harvesting it as well
Yes. Oh, yes. Am I sure I have enough wood? I, uh, you could always use some more wood, I feel like. There's always, there's always uh, a need for more wood. That was a little a log, but it looks like a shadow. Shadow log. It'd be nice to combine the uh, the grass fields together for now, at least. Though it'll make uh, it'll make things a little bit easier. Oh, I got tea coming out. Wow. Hooray! <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. See you in a bit. Oh, God. Tea. Right on time, too, man. I was getting so parched. I was getting, I was getting really parched. When you're doing corn, you can use the forage harvesters to also gather the grass. That way, you may be able to automate the storage in the silo. I don't think we need to, though. I think, um... I think, uh, grass, we're gonna cut down on grass. We're not gonna, uh... We're not gonna keep doing grass at this... volume. Because, uh, I think for hay... we don't need as much. It's just to, uh... It's just to feed to the cows and, uh... And then, uh... I think we'll start feeding them hay and then work our way towards uh, TMR eventually. So we'll need to figure out what we're going to do with straw as well. I feel like if we're planting uh, some sort of grain for uh, straw, we might as well keep some chickens, even though eggs are a pain in the ass. But we'll still get more money from eggs over time than we will from uh, just selling it in one big load, you know? Oh, 
I can't drive. I love big bums. Nice. You've come to the right place. Chat is full of them. We got some of the biggest bums you'll ever meet. <laughs> Do I have a big bum? Yeah, it's huge. one of the biggest one of the biggest in the business I'm not going to uh, I won't lime or um, fertilize this these uh, these fields just yet right we'll connect them first and then do them all in one sell this mower soon so I think we'll grab uh, the mower hopefully for the forge harvester right would be good Yes. I love cutting down trees. I feel like it's in my blood. Cutting, cutting trees. I was made for this.
you think there's a cat trapped in my logging machine? Yeah, it's my, uh, it's, it's my little helper. He helps with all the logging. I feel like I'm getting a lot better at using this machine now. I think it's definitely faster with this machine now that I'm a bit better at using it. If you do looping, he'll come back to where he started, which is kind of nice. He just won't restart the job when he comes back. That's cool. Oh, guess what day of the week it is. Oh, shit, I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, man, it's getting so juicy. It's not Taco Tuesday, no. It's Traders Tuesday. It is Wednesday, yeah. I just wanted it to rhyme, you know. Trader's Tuesday does sound way better than a Trader's Wednesday. I just used a little bit of uh, artistic license, you know.
I am an artist. I'm a, a, a con artist. <laughs> oh, man. That's good. Do, 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 do. Deliver looping. It's again. It's another one. Hey, what's up, Pirate Lizzie? How you doing? Am I up so early today? Don't forget, I gotta take a break uh, this afternoon, eh? Today, I gotta go. F I gotta go for about an hour, so I'll stop the stream and I'll come back. Uh, I gotta stop at about three and I'll come back at about four. I gotta do a. I gotta do a big school run today. I need to take a really big poop at 3 p.m. That's exactly it, yeah. I gotta stop everything and concentrate. I gotta hunker down for my big afternoon poop. See, it, the, the process tuckers me out as well, so I have to take a nap after. Yes.
stumps. Be gone. Nice, nice. God, look at how much we cleared. Fucking awesome. There's no way that this is slower than doing it by hand. This is so much faster. So much grass. Holy crap. Alright, we still got the other field to do as well. Unbelievable. First waypoint? Is he going the right place? I think so. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, this one we want to empty out and then we can start using it again, right? Now that we are distributing directly to the fermenters, it feels like a little bit cheaty, I guess, but maybe it's all right. I guess there's probably not a way to distribute the uh, the slurry from the cows Ooh, and the manure. <laughs> we'll have to move all of that over manually. I think we can I think we can just set the production of digested to sell auto sell right empty it out we have so much fertilizer We're, we have fertilizer forever right now let's just sell it and then let it build up again when we start running out of fertilizer which is probably gonna be never Why not sell the fertilizer instead? Because it's more work. I have to get mods and everything for it. This way we can just sell this stuff. 
I think we need another mod to sell the fertilizer, right? We need like a seed and fertilizer selling station. First game I ever streamed. Do you guys remember? I found it difficult to get into Terraria as well. I just didn't, just didn't really care for the, uh, the the platforming aspect of it, you know? Jumping and shit. I kind of hated all that. I like the idea that you could build little apartments for people and they would come and join you in your in your base. That was cool though. not cut to uh, to standard. We have a non-standard cut. I thought it was the fairy the fairy fountain music again it still could be it still might even be Erica where did you find this playlist and why do you hate me so much what did I do It's like 15 hours of the of the uh, fairy fountain from Zelda music in different remixes basically. That's my summary of this playlist. And some Super Mario mixed in just for fun. Nah, I'm just joking. I don't mind it. The Street Fighter music was great. I wish there was more of it. <laughs> Oops.
Oh my god. We've actually made it to the another edge of the map. This edge. That's great. We're getting close to the edge of our land now. But with this machine, it won't let me uh, cut trees that aren't mine. So we don't have to worry about any lawsuits. This one, this one makes us bulletproof. Oh, I'm bulletproof! You snooze, you lose! Doo -doo -doo -doo. on the map. Uh, he's just left. He's trying his best to figure out the, the path. Filled all the uh, the uh, wood industries up today. I'm sure we did at least once, right? I'll double check. Otherwise, this stuff just gonna go on onto the pile with the rest of it. Hello, uh, paper. Yeah, it's kind of full. I really have deforested a lot up here. Well, Giga Canola is going to become Giga Corn, and it's going to stretch all the way up here, is the good news. What a time to be alive. Born. 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 Born to be alive. <laughs> Uh, I'm going a bit delirious. I've just been doing the same mundane tasks over and over and over. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. It is lonely on the farm. It is. Uh, there's no getting around it. Just 
wish I had someone to talk to. Yeah, we're pivoting away from uh, canola. Yeah, we're, we're 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 going full corn. We want the silage, corn and cows into biogas. This is how we're gonna make our our money. Maybe uh, dabble with uh, grapes and olives at some point too. Once the once the money is really rolling in, you know. Yeah, I played a bit of Contraband Police. I'm sure I did. Kind of kind of recently too, I feel like. Maybe. I I liked it uh I I hated the uh driving around the map to like the prison and stuff. Uh, that was it was really off-putting. Did I play some BGs recently? <laughs> Why, yes, I did. In fact, I played some just last night. You want to talk about it? Love BGs. Love them. So much wood in such neat little organized piles as well. saying wouldn't it be alive huh sorry bees thank god that's there You looked up the music video for Born to be Alive, and it's sung by the most normal looking person ever? What, uh, what year did that song come out? 
that'll be the giveaway, right? Because in like the 70s and 80s, artists did just look like normal people. There wasn't anything really special about them. It became a lot more manufactured going into like the uh, the 90s and beyond. Yeah, Teagles, I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to uh, watching the traders tonight for sure. I can't wait. It's gonna be great. 1978. Yeah, that makes sense, right? to do this uh, for much longer. The grass as it is. Just get a lot of corn. We might still need some grass to uh, to keep it topped up though. So you only harvest uh, corn once a year, right? We might, uh, we might need to have some grass. So we need to figure out a better system for grass. I wonder if maybe we could do um, none of the none of the forge wagons have. I wonder if we would maybe use the uh, the forge harvester with the uh, the grass pickup attachment because then it can spit it out of the spout right, and then we could just get uh, unload jobs. CP combine unload might be a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah, we're not. I know we're gonna do uh, hay, but hay is a little uh, less involved, I think, because we're we'll just uh, either pelletize it or um, or bale it for the for the cows. But grass for silage, we'll probably still need some grass alongside the corn because I we don't want to get uh, partway through the year and just completely run out and then have to wait months before the next. Um, harvest right It'd be good to have grass that we're harvesting in between just to keep it topped up and then we can expand it I think I, I agree. You, the yield is probably more for the for the grass. It's just more work, but if we can uh, have a bit of both, I think it'll be good, right? Well, we need a better system for uh, harvesting the grass too. It's so annoying right now. Maybe the forage harvester with the uh, with the grass uh, picking up attachment, so that we can use the uh, so that we can use the pipe and pipe into um, into the um, into bigger wagons, right? Not have to use the uh, the forage wagons. 
Uh, I'd like to get into the pipe 5x5 five five, a couple of times even. Oh my god, look at how much lumber we have. That's insane. No, I haven't started growing corn yet. We still lack a lot of the equipment. We got the planter and stuff. We could do it, but we just have no way of uh, harvesting it at the moment. I think we'll, um... I think we'll probably get corn up and running before we get cows realistically. Look at all of the wood! We got, we got about a million bucks worth of wood. go to Rexon and watch the footy and have a pint with Ryan Reynolds? Yeah, I would, yeah. I would love to do that. I've never even been to a live football match before, but I'd love to go to one. I'll go to one eventually. Amazingly, we've almost carted all of this stuff out of here. It's like three, four full loads. My, why is my torch active? It should not be. Power plant? What's happening? Fermenter? Oh. I think the digest it needs to sell, right? We've got too much of it. Maybe we just need to get it to like one o'clock. For it to sell? Yeah, okay, that should be fine now. It's saying that the torch is active. I think the digestive just got too full. It was overflowing. Need a bigger shit tank? Ah, uh, we'll keep on top of it. It does it, it won't fill up in a day. Rome didn't fill up with shit in one day, and neither will my uh my my big digested tank. <laughs> now the fertilizer factory 
has worked through it. it the fertil fertilizer factory is full. We have 250,000 liters of solid fertilizer in that thing. It's full. That's why we're selling the digested now. Yeah, I could get this fertilizer cell point mod, but how much does fertilizer sell for? It feels like... Feels, it feels like maybe a little bit like the No Man's Land uh, flower bunker. <laughs> flower and mushrooms. I mean, if it sells for somewhat less than it costs to buy, that's still a shit ton of money, right? It's expensive. No, the hoses, the hoses are gone. Uh, seal packs. We had to get. We had to. We had to bin them. It kept disconnecting all the time, and uh, so annoying. It would have been fine, but turns out it's a, it's a, a lot of extra work too. You need uh, multiple applications. And none of the uh, spreaders are very big, and uh, yeah, they weren't great, unfortunately. I tried. I wanted to make them work. I, I really like the idea, but... I feel like we gave it a fair go. The, uh, the pipes, the hoses. He's done. I can't believe it. Alright, let's see if this thing actually works with the mod. Allow create fields. Yes. Perfect. This is way better, isn't it? Holy crap.
No, no, I would never cheat. Cheating. Come on. I think I am some sort of cheater. I would never cheat. It's just not in my nature. There's a loose, a loose tree. Very nice. Okay. Uh, we'll chop that one down eventually, right? So. Yes. This is going to be a crazy field. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. How am I going to poop all this? Well, we're not. We got solid fertilizer now that we're making from poop instead. It's just a little bit better than uh, the poop. The poop deployment system was just not up to scratch, it turns out. Extended around the top of 35? Top of 35. Oh, yeah, we could actually, yeah. It would make it uh, a very weird shape. But, I mean, it's already a very weird shape, I suppose. Um, the field, I mean, not my penis. I've never been described as somebody, um, I've never been described as somebody with an ugly hog before. But I, I, I could wear that as a, as a badge of honor, honestly. I
I got the ugliest hog in the West. How many people have seen it? Not many, to be fair. Not, not too many. people have seen the inside of it one person the consultant P doctor who he went deep he went deep in there with a camera and had a real good look around I was of course wincing in pain the whole time he was like oh this is really interesting you like this just fucking hurry up I was going crazy. It was so painful. Can he find the treasure in the Sierra Madre with his P camera? Maybe. Yeah, you'd have to be careful of like ghosts and stuff, but I think I think if he has good uh, ghost uh, avoidance skills, probably fine. Probably find the treasure, no problem. It's a lot of work to lug all that gold back to your uh, hotel room and put it into a bathtub, let me tell you. Does the procedure make peeing weird after it? Yeah, it hurts. Stings. Stings for like... Uh, he said it would be a couple of days, but it only stung like maybe two peas after I had it done. And it was fine after that. But it feels weird because they put, they put some like numbing gel on your Johnson. So it, it hurts a bit and also feels really weird. Yeah, I got neutered. It was, um, just had to be done, you know. We just got to that point where, like, you gotta get neutered. And I didn't want to, but took one for the team. Took a big one for the team. Yeah, this is uh, this is crazy how easy this is with the uh, cultivator instead of the plow. It's a really nice mod. Because the plowing uh, with the real plows just uh, takes way too long. We I think we did enough uh, plowing to get uh, to get an idea of it, right? Yeah, you can be a bit more precise with the cultivator, it feels like, yeah. You can get some nice curves in there. Why is my torch active once again? What's happened? Oh, the digested is, uh, is full again. I think we need a bigger tank.
This is nice. What a what a nice job this is. Very satisfying. Just me and my my new big grass field. Um, we can upgrade this. No, we cannot upgrade it. Sorry, I'm lying to you. So I think we just do need uh, more tanks. Production? Factories? Pumps and hoses, pumps and hoses, pumps and hoses. Pumps and hoses. Uh, liquid manure. So this is, this one fits, it's 78 grand and fits 606,000 liters. This one is 120 grand, 1.6. Maybe we're going for 1.6. This one does 3.6 and it's only 60 grand more. Holy shit. Shall we? Hundred and eighty grand? That's big. That's a big shit tank. All right, good. Well, that's not going to fill up anytime soon. It's an impressive looking facility. I love the modular um, stuff. It's really good. <laughs> Cue the torch message. No, it's fine. It's, it's absolutely fine. Look got loads it does mount up very quickly though but the silage is completely full too so we're making another we're gonna be making another 60 grand this month off of all of that see we can we can uh, we can ramp this up and uh, and we'll be at a billion no problem right What are we gonna do when we're done? Maybe we should do like, uh, if we want to, if we want to play more farming sim, which um, I say this now, but I, I I could change my mind in like a couple of days or a week. But if we if we got a billion in this playthrough and we were done, we could do another one on a different map and then just like focus on one type of production. You know, like like we could do a potato chip empire run, and we but we don't need to make a billion off of it. We could just see like how far we could take potato chips, you know? Something like that. Make it a little less, like... I mean, making a billion dollars is... Well, making... Having a net worth of a billion dollars in this game would be tough enough. Having... Um... A billion dollars sitting in the bank... <laughs> It's a tough one, too. A billion in cash, yeah. Yeah, maybe we could, uh, like, maybe we could save another playthrough for doing, you know, gearing up to doing uh, olives or grapes or something like that, you know? We could start with more money next time as like, uh, yeah, we'd have the billion dollar farm can finance the next run, right? We could start with a bit more money. I don't know. I kind of like the the uh, the rags to riches thing, though. 
Like, it, it feels a lot more satisfying when you build it from nothing, you know? But some of the other maps might uh, might make it a little bit easier. Like, if we did, like, Court Farm or something, you basically start with sheds. You have, like, all the facilities. You just got to buy the equipment. But, I mean, it could still be kind of fun. You could do multiplayer and invite Erica to join because you think she loves this game. Yeah, I know. I know. Either that or Satisfactory, right? Or maybe even Minecraft. I think she likes all those games. It's actually a miracle that Erica watches this channel at all. Because I think she hates every game that we play. Except for RimWorld. And Overwatch 2, of course, yeah. I mean, of course. I'm just that charming. <laughs> it must be. I think RimWorld's still uh, one of our most played games on this channel, though. Minecraft, RimWorld. What else is up there? No longer played up. Tarkov, I think, is still up there. Planet Zoo. Yeah, Planet Zoo is a good one. You watched at least 40 hours of RimWorld while you were between jobs? Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Grass 1 and Grass 2 will now be combined. So we'll delete this one. And we'll delete this one. And we'll draw a new one. contour around this basically there's a mountain in the middle of 35 that you have to kind of contour around Good. Save it. Yeah. Rename this field to grass. <laughs> it's not even grass one, it's just grass for now. spread some seed on here. And then once it's seeded, we can do... Um We can uh, we can put the lime and fertilizer on. Oh, 
Whoops. I missed a bit. I'm having a lot of trouble here, sorry. We can, uh, we can just use up the rest of this uh, solid fertilizer and then... I mean, we could refill from uh, from our thing, but I'd rather not apply fertilizer and seed at the same time, just because this, the fertilizer runs out way quicker than the seed. The fertilizer, we can just spread it really, uh, really quickly with the uh, with the big spreader, right, across the whole field. I don't know if it needs to be de-stoned. Let's see. Oh, it doesn't need to be plowed. Interesting. So you still have to plow it. You can just create the field, but it still does need to be plowed. All right, so we weren't ready to seed just then. So if we plow it, then we'll have to de-stone it. Uh, it's okay if Al uh, plows the baby grass. It's not going to grow again now until the uh, the spring anyway. It doesn't grow in... Uh, there's no growth stage between now and December, and it just stops growing in December as well, so. Cool. Yeah, you don't need to worry about being precise with the plow now, because we're not creating fields with it. <coughs> So it should be pretty straightforward to just go through here and plow it. It shouldn't take too long. So I think we're looking at this thing, uh, forge harvester combinations. This has a mower. It also has uh, the uh, forge harvester header, right? I think most of them have have it. Actually, it looks, looks like most of them have. Oh, shit. Have to go back on that one line that I missed. It's so annoying. I was in a menu. Yeah, this is good now because look, it's not going to uh, it's not going to plow outside the field, so we don't have to worry about it making a weird shape or whatever. We it's like we still got to plow it, but it's not so bad.
torch is active again. How? How and why? What? Out of space? There's no way it's full. It cannot be. Nah, this this it's not even full. Yeah, no, the, the, it says that it's connected, but it's not actually connected, I don't think. Gas torch is now inactive. Okay, we don't want to plow the cotton field. Well, I mean, we could. Well, we don't really want to. So we'll have to come through and, and de-stone this anyway, right? I think, now that we're plowing it. What is this spooky music from? Hello? Or maybe it doesn't like that fact that we've just gone up a little hill. What a weird thing for my plow to do. Mom, well, my plow's being weird again. This is it, this is actually uh, better, right? Because you use the 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 cultivator uh, to create the field. The fact that you need to plow it, yeah, it's not great, but it's still much easier to actually draw the field with the cultivator than it is with the plow. 
once the uh, the field is actually drawn, plowing it is not so bad, right? You don't have to be as um, exact with it. Yeah, so we don't. I I was cult. I I did all the uh, bits in the middle because I thought that it was just cultivating it. We wouldn't need to plow it again. But next time we could just do the edges with the cultivator and then plow the inside, right? Can we use um? Can we use something different than a plow to, to do this? Like, uh, what, what are the other ones? The other options? There's all these other things here, right? Disc harrows and stuff? Subsoiler, maybe? This is for shallow cultivation of fields. Would this actually work? Would would do these actually um, give it a uh, like a plowed state? This can be used instead of a plow, it says. Subsoiler prepares the field for the next sowing. So we could use these. This one has an eight meter spread on it. This one can fertilize as well with six meters. Should we get one of these? Needs 435 horsepower, which is not a problem. Subsoiler, plow, spader can be used instead as well, but 4.5 seems to be the, the mass, the, the, the biggest. The plow that we're using right now is only 6 meters, so the subsoiler would be better, right? Let's try that instead of this. Anything's got to be better than this thing. This thing's a nightmare. You can actually create fields with this thing as well. So maybe this is what we want to create fields with, right? Because that'll plow it at the same time, whereas our cultivator only cultivates. Oh, this thing's cool.
Nice plow, thanks. I just had it stuffed. Oh, wait. I can see the stones. Oh, it's really hard to see uh, over top of where I've already done this. anything on sale actually I'll check that in a minute too okay yeah so this uh, we got to de-stone this it's making orange stones but it needs to be cultivated anyway so Yeah, you bet you have to get it so that the game thinks that it's been plowed, right? Because if it if not, then fuck knows what's gonna happen. So I think uh, next time we'll not only create fields uh, with this, but we'll that we can double this up as uh, plow too, right? So this will create fields of the plow. It's just a little bit better. Maybe we don't even need the mod. Because this this had the option to create field from the uh, from the get go. Maybe we should have just done this. I have no idea where I've been over. It doesn't look any different. But there are stones. See where, where I've done it and where I haven't. Why don't I just use a plow? Well, because the plow is at an angle and it feels like shit to use. That's why I'm not using it, Teagles. Why don't you just use a plow if you love them so much? left this tree here.
Don't worry, Chad. It's not going to take long. Look, we're almost done. In fact. In actual fact. I love the uh, the texture it leaves behind. Looks really nice. Good night, Milchine. getting there with this let's take it'll take a little while did I miss a bit on the edge where here some plowing required oh it's hard to keep track of uh of what we've done. This thing is a plow. Well, it's a subsoiler, but it is plowing. the map like every five seconds and I can't tell what's been done and what hasn't next time we create a field we'll just use this thing okay because we can use it to, to plow all the all the middle as well and then we won't get so lost because we'll have to pick up stones anyway saying that this needs rolling but there's no way right so there's still a bit here maybe use the plow no the this is this is uh, wider than the plow as well it's it's better it's just a it's just a better plow.
Yeah, it feels like the top speed is higher on this too. Yeah, I agree. Oh, this is annoying. Yeah, I can see the little stones, Teagles. You're right. You can see where we've done it. I didn't get the tip. I missed a little bit of it still. Fudge! Turn up the music, turn off the lights, turn off the music, turn off the lights, okay. Can you get the map on the mini-map to see where I am? I don't think I can. Oh, maybe there's a way? I don't know. How do, what's, the, what's the button to interact with the mini-map? Or is there one? Nine. 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 That's huge. I missed a bit up there too. I'm on a collision course with it right now. Checking my instrumentation. Ladies and gentlemen, we got it. Nice. torch is active again looks like it's like it activates around 
the same time every hour, but I don't know if it's actually doing anything. We probably just never saw the message before because we're probably never awake for an hour a day. We usually done all of our jobs and then skip, right? So, I don't know. It's saying that it's 3,000 liters, but it doesn't make any... It's selling 3,000 liters. But if we just distribute it across the biogas plant, it's fine. See, the torch is inactive now. Yes. I'll go back and get up get that sliver in a sec as well. Let me recalibrate my trajectory here. Oh, yes. Look at that. Fits like a glove, don't shove. Okay, we're gonna turn up like so. Yes. And then we're gonna go over here. Yes. Got it. I turned off my targeting computer that time, and you know what? Worked out fine. There's one little bypass that still needs to be done in this field, but it's fine. Makes it more interesting, right? Good morning, Obama. How are you, sir?
Mr. President? Hi, Mr. President. We are looking good here. This is taking way longer than it should, unfortunately, because I gotta keep checking the map, but once it's done, you know, what can, what can you say? Field needs plowing, so we're rolling it with the cultivator. No, we the field needs plowing, so we are um, plowing it with a subsoiler instead of a uh, plow because it's a little bit faster. But we created the field with the cultivator before, and that's why we can't see what we've been over. We got the uh, the mod where you can uh, create fields with a cultivator, but didn't realize that we would have to still plow. What does the subsoiler do? I don't know. It plows a field apparently. It can it can it can be a plow. Consider getting the garden, st garden steering, steering, garden steering mod. Uh, I should probably get that. Yeah. And how many mods have we got installed now? Like twenty, right? I considered getting the 1 billion per potato mod. <laughs> oh, that would be great. That's what we need. Oh my god. I think we'll get Al to do this next time. We can't really trust him to do it now though. It's 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 such a botched job. We're just gonna have to suck this one up, I think.
Whoops. A huge miscalculation. Can you take over? Oh my god. You missed so many spots. There's so many weeds growing in that field now, too. Canola 4. Full of weeds. Giga Canola. Full of weeds. This is disgusting. This is some of the shoddiest farm work I've ever seen. I gotta go back over and grab these little bits that I missed. Turns out I missed loads. Fudge. This is driving me crazy. I wonder if we limed the the field now, if it would give us... I guess it would just lime over everything, right? I thought maybe it would, like, show us the bits that were plowed and not. Hang on, I'll be right back. Sorry, I'm back. Um, I had to scare away a seagull that was pecking our car. 
I think it's uh, I think it's a, 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 a mother seagull that lives on our roof that has had babies and is uh, is pissed off with with us generally. She's pecking the. She not only does she peck the car, she also pecks our our windows as well. She hates us. I think she. Maybe she can hear us like inside every night, living it up, watching the best reality TV, and just hates us for it. Yeah, no, I've I have left her alone. I I just had to. She can, she's, uh, she's, can fly and everything. Like, she's, she's capable. She's not injured. She's just really annoyed. No, no, you can't, uh, you can't harm them. They're protected over here. They're like, uh, I don't know, considered endangered or something. I don't know. They don't seem very endangered to me. There's fucking tons of them. This is impossible. This is this is by far the hardest uh, farming task we've ever had to do. And it's all my fault as well. Huge blunder. Okay. Oh, man. So annoying. Lining up for a huge bombing run right here. Dowie, what do you think? Hey Dowie, have you ever played uh, Hearthstone Battlegrounds before? Do I remember RDP runs? No, I don't remember RDP runs. What's an RDP run? Dowie, I feel like you'd probably like it. Actually, I'm just joking. I don't know if you would.
Oh my god, I might actually complete this task. Those were the runs in World War II Online when you flew to the other team's factories to bomb them? Oh, I feel like that might be after my time playing. I don't even remember there being factories. <coughs> I played early on when it came out. You had to fly for two to three hours without even taking a break? What if a seagull is pecking your car? Uh, hi, Command. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is Ace Tony. Um, I have to AFK from my flying plane right now because there is a seagull pecking my car. Um, I'll try not to be long. I realize we're uh, we're we're operational right now, mid operation. <laughs> Hi, this is Flying Ace uh, Tony Baloney. <laughs> I'm coming in. Roger that. Uh, PB Herman, uh, Foxtrot, Echo, Taco Burrito. What's that in your Speedo? Um, we read you loud and clear about the seagull pecking your car. <laughs> <laughs> this is all on TeamSpeak <laughs> by non, not actual pilots. Research, development, and production, apparently, Dowie. Somebody is saying. That makes sense, right? Bomb the shit out of that? You bomb the fucking shit out of that. Bomb, fucking bomb the fucking shit out of <laughs> Bomb the shit out of that. Doo -doo. Gonna miss a line here. Fudge! Oh, fudge! Fudge! Hopefully, this gets the line. How have I managed that? I lined up precisely with my last line. Unbelievable. Shit, I love this song. This is a uh, Pokemon uh, Gold, Golden Shield. Pokemon Red and White and Golden Shield. Hey, look, the sun is actually going down. Don't let the sun go down today. Do, 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 do. I'm usually asleep at 9 a.m. <laughs> Skipping all the time.
It's amazing I got Elton John to join the stream. I know, me and, uh, he used to have a house in uh, Jersey, did you know that? It was a top, top secret, but everybody over here knew. Because he was sighted many times. Enjoying some seafood at local establishments. Don't let the sun go down on me. No, I think he doesn't frequent Jersey anymore. Nobody's seen him for quite some time. So long, in fact, that the uh, that the Elton Spotters Club uh, disbanded a couple of years ago. They used to have like a whole. It was like a like a like the French Resistance. It's like a underground society devoted to tracking all of his movements while he was in Jersey and. When he was done eating at a restaurant, they'd like go and clear the table and like lick all like his uh, oysters that he left and stuff. Oh, it's insane. I'm doing a, 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 a celebrating light show to celebrate the fact that that cursed job is finally done. Uh, in December, we will uh, we will pick stones in the, in that field. Might even buy another stone picker uh, to help things. Lash, you know what? I'm not buying another stone picker. I think one is enough. So that does not need to be plowed. We could get clever here too, right? So we could go create a job, field position. Um, <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's do a headland with one tool. Do it sharp with the circle bypass. Um, what if I do, instead of going up, down, if I do manual? Yes. Okay, but then look at this. Check this out. Wait, am I skipping rows? No row skip. could do a nearest waypoint on this one and just do the bits that need to be done, right? And then if there's any little uh, bits to finish off at the end, I can do them. job out.
All right, chat. Do you want me to um? Do you want me to leave the stream on for an hour while I'm gone? I better not, really. We'll resume when I come back. Sound good? Look at all of the poop in here. 462,000 liters. 466,000 liters in this one. Jeez! You want to see Al picking stones for an hour? I'll be I'll be like over an hour. All right, fine. I'm leaving you. I've slowed time right down so that it doesn't uh, go too crazy. I'm going to just save my game here quick as well. Just in case there's uh, there's some troubles. Wait for the DMCA music to kick in. No, you know what? I'm going to stop the music right now too. And I'm just going to leave it like this. And then maybe this job will be done uh, by the time I get back. So much work to finish. Okay, this guy can resume. Resume your tasky wasky. We're not in any rush for this job to get done, so we can sleep through the night. Uh, and he can continue on tomorrow. In December? Um, oh my god. Look at all the uh, digested we have. So much of it. It's creating way too much. We don't have a million bucks worth of uh, wood. I was lying. Canola oil is still selling for pretty good, but we'll sell the rest next, uh, next summer. Paper roll is always a good seller. And there's nothing else to sell until March. Sell the honey in March clothes in May, and the furniture in July. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, and we'll make sure that this is uh, nice and filled up too, right? Not that it actually needs to be now, because we have a new, um, a new method. Oops. Alright, November is done. Was there tea? No. No, there was not. I don't I don't have any. I might have some coming out to me at some point though, I I think, but I didn't bring any with me. 4,377 bucks from the wind turbine. Biogas made 83 grand. <laughs> oh fuck! It made 83 grand last month. Jeez! <clears throat> That's wild. That is... That is insane. Do, 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 do. I think it's could be... I think maybe it's it's uh, being propped up by selling all the... Uh, all the digested as well, right? Which is not even being sold at the moment. Because um, I had to take it off selling, right? Do, 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 the fermenter is full. See, if we set this to selling, it's got like a, it's got this weird like internal storage for selling, which then trips the, uh, the torch. So I think we can only sell 3000 liters an hour. Maybe that's it. It's a, it's got to be something like that, right? Mm -hmm. 
has to be something like that. Let's start mulching up this uh, this other field. Yeah, the digest it should not affect it. I, I agree, but that's the only thing I can think of that's potentially tripping it is the digest it being full. I don't know. Maybe it's not not uh, distinguishing between what is full. And then just tripping, but when the when the uh, when the torch is active, it's not actually um, burning anything, right? It's saying burning zero percent of uh, your your methane. this job this is gonna be for two tools let's do some headlands we do smooth yeah that's fine Copy this, first waypoint left, paste this, first waypoint right. Alright, good. Those guys can crack on with that. No, you gotta change the, oh, lower tool early raise tool late now yeah, you might be right actually I never thought of that raise tool late and uh, raise tool late lower tools early okay let's try that so nice to have money isn't it nice to have money oh shit another forage wagon whoops <laughs> I thought it was a bush never text while you're driving that would have been even with the seatbelt on that would have been like uh Probably your head ripped off and then through the windshield. We were going so fast.
<laughs> after the massive jump over the rock, the the ditch. It makes sense to plow into a rock, I suppose. Yeah, it's only fair. You got to keep it. You got to keep it uh, above board, right? You got to balance it out. the edge here now. Two hundred hours of Schlager has broken you, Dowie. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that you feel like that. I thought I thought you're made of tougher stuff. This one might not be mine. It's mine. No, no, no lawsuit. No lawsuit, not this time. Good. See, we avoided the uh, the lawsuit. That's good. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. 
can't believe it. I can't believe this deforestation that we've accomplished. You wish that... Wait, do you do a lot of illegal stuff, Dowie? You don't know. That sounds like somebody who's doing a lot of illegal stuff. You don't have a lawyer, a lawyer following around at all times. Okay, but what about if you search within your heart? Does it feel wrong, some of the things that you do? Because that could also, you know, I know you don't have a lawyer following you around, but fudge. We almost, uh, we almost had a, a bit of a crazy flip there. It's because I had the, uh, the bolts tightened. Sometimes when you, when this thing tightens the bolts, it can cause some huge problems. I can't give him a new job. You have to cancel this job first. Ah, uh, he's not that far, I guess. It's fine. He's full of racks. No, stream didn't go dead earlier. I had to, I had to um, go and do a big school run, but I was gone for just over an hour, so I had to stop the stream. I didn't want to leave you guys with an hour of, sh of unmonitored schlager. Also, I didn't want to miss it myself. But then when I started playing it, when I got back, the usual suspects were like, "Oh, this sucks. I hate this music." So we gotta listen to this instead. up all of my my goods I don't think this is all of them either so we should get a, a message in a minute saying that the torch has started right I think usually it's like 10 10 to the yeah look it'll fill up with about 10 minutes to go before the uh, the top of the hour and then all the digest it should sell actually we should get a little bit of money for it too and then uh, it'll be fine it's just I don't know it's weird
There, see, it's active now. But I don't think it'll actually burn anything. I think it's just active because the, um, the digestive's full. But then in eight minutes on the hour, it should sell a whole load of it and empty out. But it looks like it's only selling 3,000 liters at a time. 3,000 liters an hour. There's a way to increase that. Where even buys digest it? Digest it, we would sell it at the farm shop. We got 155 grand's worth. We got a million, over a million liters of it. So it only sells 3,000 liters an hour. That's what the 3,000 liters is. It, that's like the, it's like the, 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 the cue to sell it. We're gonna have to sell this stuff faster or sell the fertilizer. fertilizer in a silo in a bigger silo 250 liters what is it tools container this is a stainless steel fertilizer tank this is liquid fertilizer this is just we could get a couple of these and fill them up I guess something bigger this is all crop storage there's liquid storage here but this is just uh, this can store a million liters but I mean we've produced a million liters of digested in like two months. speculation who I think will go out tonight I feel like it's anyone's game now Dowie it's so uh, oh man that just I can't wait to see what happens I, I just don't know now I have no clue Solid fertilizer out of space. So this is currently holding 523,000 liters of digested as well. But it has no space to create more fertilizer. I mean, maybe it's just... Might be easier to just sell the fertilizer with that mod, right? Oh, we have we we did sell more than uh, three thousand liters actually, because now we're down to oh no we're still at over a million right, so it is just selling three thousand liters an hour. I can upgrade this. 
see now we see we have we have space for 1.6 million So if we set this to distribute across the biogas plant. Then the torch shouldn't go on, right? We need to we'll need to figure this out at some point and see what we want to do with it. We can either we can we can sell it in bulk at the farm shop, but we'll need a big tanker for that, and it would take multiple multiple trips throughout the day. I mean, we could we could buy a tanker and then just have a an AI auto loop all day long selling thousands of liters of it. Like there's just so much of it. Or just sell the fertilizer, which probably sell for more, but is a, is a bit cheaty because it generates it so fast. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, 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 look at all this space. going to take forever to create a field out here, by the way. If we want to ex expand uh, Giga Canola, which will probably soon become Giga Corn. Prime land for a vineyard? Hmm. Do we want a vineyard over here? Or do we want corn? Oh, look at that view. Spectacular. country do I think this map takes place in? Um, Peru?
Hey Jim, what's up? Am I listening to DMCA music? Wait, it shouldn't be. I was told that this is safe. It's too close. Okay, look, I'll... I'll go forward a little bit. Yeah, I gotta refuel the big truck, you're right. Do with the service as well. Now, uh, the DMCA stuff just gets muted in the VOD, but it mutes everything in the VOD, and you can get in trouble as well. It wouldn't, uh, it would just mute that section of the VOD, though. It's, it's not, not the end of the world. Getting in trouble would be pretty bad, though. Christ out. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. What were you thinking? Have you finished? What's left? Oh. You are not done. What were you doing over there? What the hell? What the heck was he doing all the way over there? What the hell? 
What's wrong with that spot? I don't know what, uh, I don't know what drugs Al's on, but if he has any extras, I'm down. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Yes. Yes, Al. Yes. Look at that. There's a couple of spots in the grass field that are less than ideal, but we'll roll as well, right? We can roll the yellow ones, the red ones. I don't know. It's just not picking them up. here he just stopped on this spot for some reason it's weird Trusting you. Uh, he's gonna be full up in a minute, actually. We'll have to come back and empty him out. What's up, Beard Daddy? How are you doing? We have 149,000 liters of cotton. And we only harvested... That's... That, I think our yield this year was really bad because of the poop spraying. Because that doesn't seem, uh, uh we give, it must have been all right, though, right? I guess we've just gone through a lot. I wonder 
think we'll go through the... I feel like we had just as many bales as usual, but maybe not. Alright. If we want to get uh, a forge harvester... If we want to get, like, say, one of these... We would need to get the... What header would we need? So we could get a mower. Not only could we get a, a mower on this, which is um, a five meter mower. What's this? A comfort support wheel. Uh, we get this thing. This thing will pick up the grass. Okay, so the, the nice thing with this is it can it can uh, collect the grass and then it will shoot it out of here. So we could either uh, shoot it into a trailer that we're pulling ourselves or get tractors with, uh, with trailers that can take grass to do um, course play, unload uh, combine, right? It'd work. And then, and then we would be able to tell them where to take the stuff and, and to go back and, and do it again. We could have a couple of them queued up, ready to help. So that we'd have like a constant, you know, they'd be going. Which one is the one that uh, does chaff? There's a specific one, right? Yeah, my current mowing setup does nine, yeah. But we don't we don't even need to to necessarily mow with this thing although it would be pretty good to mow this one has this one does 6.2 so we'd maybe want like one of these things nine meters pretty nice That's for Poplar. So this is nine. This Kemper 390 plus, you can uh, use on any of the big, the, the big brand name uh, forge harvesters, right? You just have to get the right uh, thing for it and it'll do it. Yeah, this, uh, this works for grass as well. So this works for collecting grass, but this one doesn't have a, a mower that you could use on it. Grass. If you wanted to do mower. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to. This one doesn't have a mower. This one does. The class does have a mower. It's a five meter um, mow. This one does a 6.2 meter mow. And then this thing would be would would pick up the grass after, right? So we could just leave the uh, the mower to do it nine meters, and then uh, and then we could just follow this thing. This thing will connect collect at three meters, but I think uh, we could use it to collect the grass after the mow. And then we could also use it to um, to do the what you call it. <laughs> I 
I recognize this. I recognize this song. <laughs> it says streaming DMCA free, but there's a bunch of uh, there's a bunch of covers on this that I don't know if that if it necessarily comes under that. You know, I don't know. That was a lovely song, you're right? So if we're just gonna get, uh, if, if we're just gonna collect, then it doesn't matter, right? The grass pickup, and then we can get an Orbis uh, 900, which does nine meters, and this can do, um, this can forage harvest all this stuff. I think the fact that it's a forage harvester means that it'll just cut up all of this stuff and create chaff for you, right? It can create, it can do grass, it can create straw, something, whatever this one is, this one, and this is cut soybeans, I think. Do you want to get a Jaguar 960 Terra Track? It's fucking cool. It's a cool one. Hey, yeah, I think it might be, maybe it's hey, yeah. There's a Fint, which we'd have to use the Kemper um, attachments for. So 140,000 on top of the 395. This is just a mower. So this mower is a 10 meter mower. There's a couple of options for mow <laughs> mowers here. Uh, there's the hand lawn mower, which we never got in the end. We used, the, the, we used this, didn't we? The, the lizard brush cutter. I think this is the one. I think we'll either get a, uh, a. I think we'll get a class. Let's get a class, Jaguar 960 Terra Track, and then we'll get get the Orbis 900, and we'll also get the Pickup 300, right? And then that can help us with. Uh, that can help us do the uh, the stuff that we need it to do around the grass. Is this guy actually done? Mate. Mate, what have you done? You're not done. That's not, it's nowhere near done. He's almost full though. I'm hoping that thing will simplify the task of cutting the grass multiple times per year. Because um, we're just going to have to do it no matter what, I think, right? We're going to want to do it. We're going to want to keep some grass for silage. And then we can just turn some of it into hay as well when we need it. Oh, this little mate of mine, I'm gonna let him shine. So he should have done this bit here, nearest waypoint, which he did not do. Let's follow his course and see why the heck he did not. Where's he going? Oh, 
Oh, I see. It's because he's going back this way. Oh, weird. So actually, we want to start him at the top here. That would be the, the best thing to do, right? And you can finish all this shit. That's better, Al. That's better. We'll have to do the uh, this bit around here, right? But at least he can get all this done. All right, it'll take him a little while to finish, but uh, that's okay. We so we we got we got time to kill. We got time to kill. We got to return some of this stuff anyway, right? It's a weird field. It is, yeah, it is a little bit weird, I know. I'm just gonna do it. it it's, he's just gonna get caught in the trees and oh, there, there's not that much left to do. I'll just finish it. We still need to seed this as well. We need to oh we might need to soil sample 35 yeah I think you're right actually This is Honky Tonk? this honky tonk what are you the like the foremost authority on on honky tonk i'm the uh, president of the honky tonk preservation society and uh you have my word this is honky tonk
You see, I missed that little bit, but then I went back to get it. Because I'm such a good boy. <laughs> Very tonky. Very tonky of you, but I gotta say, not so honky of you. That's looking good. Perfect. There's a couple of spots over here that maybe we should think about getting. Look at that. Wowzers. Looking good. Okay. Good enough anyway. Alright, now we're ready to seed it up. Um, let's do multiple tools. Let's do two headlands. Sharp circle. Uh, let's do automatic. Crazy. Okay. So this guy can copy this. He can go first waypoint. He can do the left. Wrong season for fruit. Oh, can you not plant uh, grass in November? Oh, shit. We're going to have to plant it in March. Wrong season for the fruit. Okay, we'll get the rest of the field ready then and then plant it in March. whole thing can be limed ahead of time that's absolutely fine and then it'll be fertilized uh, after uh, after we plant it right it'll be fine I should, I should buy the uh, the field data for the new stuff. I'll do that right now before I start liming.
I'm going in. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. What is the next big thing? The next big thing is going to be a forage harvester, which we're going to use to help with grass. And uh, we will use it for uh, corn as well. We might actually need to get a couple of them, but we'll start with one for now and just see how we go. And that'll be about half a million. And then uh, we'll start saving up for the cow shit. I'm a chiseled macho man? Absolutely. I wear face paint like the ultimate warrior as a kid um why why just as a kid that's why i haven't had my face cam on i i got some on right now Am I just doing an insane clown posse? Yes. That's what I'm doing. Just the one. Jess, what's up? P Thanks for the 103 months. Oh my god. Jess, you missed out on some incredible farming. It was high octane. Yeah, at the highest. It's possibly the highest octane farming ever. Oh, I missed a little, a little bit down here. I'll get it. <laughs> I don't know if there is a mod to make this bit go faster. It's only because we've never harvested uh, this these fields before. That's why we can't just purchase the uh, the info. Otherwise, I'd just purchase it. I know it's a bit more expensive, but it saves all this time, right? It's kind of annoying, but ah, once it's done, it's done.
Remember doing this for Cotton 1? I remember doing this for Cotton 1, yeah. <laughs> I do remember. Okay. Samples sent. Samples received. Let's see what it is. Ah, there's a lot of loam. Loam and some sandy loam. It's all the good stuff up there. It's going to be some nice yields from this field. Do I own a pair of cowboy boots? No, I don't. I would love to own a pair of cowboy boots, though. So. Not, I wouldn't want to wear them. I just want to own a pair that I can, you know, look at and admire sometimes. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just want to gaze at them every once in a while. Yeah. Admire them, you know? I think that'd be sweet. Do 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 planters. Seventeen point eight meters. I feel like we should get this thing right. Maybe even get two of these for the corn. For the corn? Oh my god. Look at these. 17.8 meters. 3,524 liters of seed. Oof. She get one? You think the Kinsey is better? The Kinsey is a bit bigger. Yeah, and can do liquid fertilizer as well, but... What is this hand... Thing mean the hand looks like a hand putting a seed into the ground.
I bought it. Hey, the trees have achieved their first growth stage. Nice. This one's a little bit easier to um, to fill up. Open the tops. What, like you mean from in the tractor, though? Tractor on both tools? Uh, you might need it, yeah, because I guess this thing needs to power the uh, the chute, right? Four thousand two hundred twenty eight liters of seed. That is fantastic. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. This thing is so long, I don't even know where I'm going to store it. Maybe alongside this shit. It's huge. I think I've produced that much seed. I'm sure I've left about that much seed in various hotel rooms across the uh, the world. Yes, it's not that much, really. I, I've, I've been alive for a long time, so. I 
my seed dealer. No. No. No, I'm not. I just leave all my tractors outside. I should really get a garage for them, but... Lazy, I'm lazy. Whoa. Something just caught my eye. What is this? Oh, shit. I'd love to have a bath in this thing. I put my back up on here so that it could take all like the calluses from my gaming chair off while I'm having a, a hot soak and then you got this grate here you know like when you shift and the and you cause a tidal wave of the water it can go out of this little grate at the front it's fantastic that's fantastic um, I think we're looking at potentially getting um, We need something... Oh, I don't know if any of these can hold grass. This one can hold grass. 50,000 liters of grass with the uh, with the pipe. So we would we could harvest into... Uh, well, we don't really need the, the pipe, actually. I think just normal trailers would be fine, as long as they can take... Um... I think we're looking for something else for chaff, right? This can take chaff. I think this it's that's hay I think this is chaff this one here so this one can take chaff so I think what we'll do is we'll probably put chaff in this oh these big things don't hold uh, chaff though All of these do, though. These big ones. Not these, though. The three-in-one can hold 59.4 thousand liters. This can hold anything. All of the, the stuff that you would need to hold. Looks like it tips out the back. It's huge. This one will do it, too. These are big ones. This one, you need like a, a different truck to pull it though, right? This isn't like a tractor one. We'd have to buy a, um, a big old truck. Not a car. We could get something like this, right? We could get a man. 500 horsepower. This one does 550 to 750. Get a couple of these. If you skip this song, Viodun is going to give two subs to you. What are you gonna do with two subs? It's pretty. That's pretty. Wow! Look at that. It's like art. What happened to this field? It's so fucked. You sing this song whenever you don't come first in Battlegrounds? <laughs> Jim, you must sing this song like a lot. How many times a day do you sing this thing? This one like 20 million times. From start to finish as well? Jeez.
fixed. I fixed it. It was me. Um, so we can uh, we can get those guys uh, out to help with the uh, with the chaff, right? We'd be able to store tons in there, get to follow it around. Uh, these fields uh, together, and now that they, I think these these fields before we did the uh, the combo got uh, like just over 500,000 liters of, uh, of grass. It's a lot of grass. So it'll be even more. So it'll be a couple of trips to and from the silo for sure. Would I like it if trucks and tractors turn grass into dirt so your paths evolve naturally? Yes, I would love that. That would be really cool. Love this move that he's just done. Fuck yeah. This, he's a wizard. Yeah, we might even need a second silo. You're right. You are right. Uh, we've used a lot of lime here. Holy crap. That's a full trailer. I guess uh, a lot of the new stuff needed quite a bit, though, right? What am I looking for? Oh yeah, lime. How much lime do I have left? I got another full load. I need to get some water. Move out of the way. You know what? Do you know what? You know what it's time for? It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye to an old friend. It's time to get a bigger water tank. We're gonna need one for milk eventually anyway, right? So let's just get one. Gas 8000. It's been real. been a journey. Let's fill this bad boy up with some water. Is that the biggest? 
Yeah. As far as I as far as I know it is, yeah. It's a, it's a lot of liquid. And we're gonna fill it with milk eventually, yeah. We're gonna have, we're gonna fill it with a ton of milk. Look at this thing. God, that's a lot of water. 23 bucks for all that water, not bad, not bad. <laughs> We're never gonna hit a billion now. even come from well, I can't see it all right 12,000 liters of water 60,000 liters of stone we're back in business, baby. We are back in business, baby. We are back in business, baby. To go. He needs a, a little reload and then he's good. Shit. I need to check something. Uh, planter, planter, planter. Oh, yeah. Direct seed. So good. So we don't have to cultivate cotton one. We're just gonna seed it with the big boy. So all we gotta do is put some lime on, and then we'll fertilize it with the uh, with the big spreader. And we're good. What's my favorite bird? Um, I don't know. Probably like a blue tit or like a something like that. A Toronto Blue Jay, yeah. The trees, they are singing. To the tunes, What's your favorite um, song in uh, style of Simon and Garfunkel on Epidemic Sound? I'll give you a clue, it's this one. The trees, they are burning. Wow. Most people in Chatter to Young to know what that means. Um, 
I don't think so. I think most of them seem to be fully functioning adults. They must know who Simon and Garfunkel are, right? You're a fan of the boxer with that snazzy harmonica solo? Yeah, that's a good one, yeah. This I course play you gotta you gotta give it to course play. This field is is whack <laughs> and it still made a course on it. It does its best. Well, the course looks crazy, but... I mean, this field's all over the damn place. Really. I'm surprised the course play can even remember where to go now. Look at this. Where's it going? Who knows? It doesn't know. It can't figure it out. There's too many crazy lines and stuff. Look, it's just following a different course now. Oh, or is it? No, no, it's figured it out. Wowzers. That's impressive. Have you ever noticed that for a song called Piano Man that there's an awful lot of harmonica happening? That's the point of the song. You didn't get the memo? Come on, man. He's saying, sing us a song, you're the, the piano man. You don't sing a piano, and then the harmonica comes in. It's like layered. There's the original troll. Before anyone even knew what trolling was, Billy Joel, he was leading the charge. Billy Joel. Do you know, true story, um, my friend uh, invited me to go see Green Day in, uh, in Glasgow in the summer, and I did not know how to respond. <laughs> I said, oh, I'll have to look and get back to you. <laughs> Gotta check my calendar. <laughs> I don't know. I I feel like uh, I'd be pretty excited with it. Do you have the time to do Like that's the only song I know. What's the other one? Sometimes I give myself the creeps. This is the same fucking song. It's not even. I swear to God. Oh yeah, and the September ends one. Oh, that's those are the only ones I know. They're apparently playing all the oldies. Yeah, that's a common thing now, right? Most, especially punk bands that have been around for a long time. Most of their tours are, we're just playing our, our really good album from start to finish for you. Which, honestly, I don't mind. Like, I went to see No Effects and they played um, Punk and Drublick from start to finish. I'm fine with that, honestly. I think that's that's great. I mean, I hadn't listened to them since I was, like, 18. <laughs> Punk and Drublick probably being one of the last albums I got by them. So, you know, I'm good with that. What's my favorite Radiohead song? I don't know. I like, I like, um, I like that one, um... They've got a couple of bangers, but I like the like the older stuff. Again, I, I got a cutoff with Radiohead where I just didn't listen to them past like I don't think I listened to anything past 
okay computer. So I, I wouldn't even say that I've listened to like 1% of their music. Hearthstone just started an update. Holy shit, is it a big patch? Jim. Jim, I need some info. Jim, are you there? Weep, weep, weep. 12 meg Hearthstone patch incoming? Am I implying that they released like 100 albums? Yeah, I am. I think Radiohead have released about 100 albums, right? Haven't they been independent, like, uh, for forever as well? They could just release an album whenever they want. And they do as well. They release, like, five new albums a week. Flack said Britney Spears didn't have a decade plus long career. I died laughing. Yeah, I felt like she was around like a lot longer, but Flack was just adamant that she was like a flash in the pan, but I still don't really believe him. I, I don't believe a lot of what Flack says. I love the guy, but I just think sometimes he seems he's, he can convince himself so convincingly of something being a fact when it just isn't. <laughs> I find... <laughs> My people in chat do this a lot as well, actually. I never do. No, I would never do that. See, the thing with me is... I guess maybe it's kind of a curse, but... Um, I'm perfect. I never make mistakes. I never get anything wrong. All my opinions are awesome, like the best. I don't know. Like when I say that a certain someone has really boring music, I'm right. I know I'm right. I can't believe how late we've had to work today. It's it's 10 to 5 at night. This sucks. It was meant to get easier. It's just it's only gotten harder. There's just more and more tasky waskies to do all the damn time. Fuck farming. Was there anything that we needed to sell today in December? No. Um, we're just really getting ready to seed. We need to reseed, uh, we need to plant, um, cotton in February, and, uh, which is coming up soon, and we need to lime, uh, the cotton one tomorrow. We'll, we'll lime it up tomorrow. Skip the day, get some more money. Do all of our chores. Thirteen thousand bucks from the windmill this time. It's not bad. That ain't too bad. Let's see how we did uh, on um, biogas. Yeah, ninety thousand bucks, no problem. Yeah, the werewolf almost got me right. December, 90,000 bucks from biogas. When am I just gonna chill and enjoy a plowman's lunch? Good question, brother. Let's do two headlands, sharp. On this 
cursed field. All right, off you go, Billy Joe. like my move now this that's my new big move to get the uh, the clothing onto the cart this is what we have to resort to now ah one job that needs to be done today we need to shift some canola back into the mill my chemical romance I don't know if I've ever heard a single song by My Chemical Romance. I'm, I'm like, I know, I know the name, but like, I could not tell you any of their music at all. I'd recognize some if I heard them. What's their like biggest hit? Black Parade. I don't think I've ever heard that. What uh, what type of music are they? Are they like a like a, like pop punk? Like two thousands punk sort of? Oh, it's emo. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard any of their songs. I don't, I don't think I would have ever heard any of them. Alternative emo turn pop punk? Do the seagulls in Jersey ever steal your food? Yeah, they do all the time. They're a menace. They, they're honestly such a menace, it's crazy. took seeds out of a silo to put them into a factory, is what I did. Just the silo is right next to the factory. The factory turns the seeds into uh, oil, which sells for more than the seeds themselves, so... Please tell me you love Depeche Mode or I have to unsub. Yeah, I always get uh, Depeche Mode and Duran Duran mixed up. I can't remember who who is which one is which and which songs they sing, but I think I like Depeche Mode. Which uh, what's a, what's what's the biggest hit by Depeche Mode? I'll tell you if I know it. Whip it! No, oh, whip it's not Depeche Mode. Whip it is uh what's it what you might call it? Um Fuck I can't remember their names now. Devo, that's right. Yeah, that's Devo. Where is the oh he's out here doing this liming. Okay. This is gonna take a little while actually. So whip it, do 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 into shape, do do shape it up. Get baked, go forward, move ahead. Try do try to detect it. It's not too late to whip it, whip it good. Do 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 do. do. Wasn't there like a Simpsons thing for whip it? Like Homer do like a, a whip it remix. Whip it good. 
Do 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 do. Can I sing my favorite XTC song? Making plans for Nigel. We're only making plans for Nigel. Woo. That's my favorite one. Has Homer done a remix of that one? It's not made up. It's not made up at all. That's a real song. Look it up. Gisa, what's your favorite Q Lazarus song? I feel like, uh, I imagine that Giso looks like Buffalo Bill IRL. Like a teenage Buffalo Bill. He just gives me that kind of... I, I, he just gives me that kind of vibe, I don't know. You look like a sexy twink. <laughs> Alright. It puts the lotion on its skin guy, yeah. No? I don't know, I always just thought... Anytime, like, you type something, I see it in chat, I'm like... I, all I can see is Buffalo Bill's face. I think I know what a twink is, but I can't think of a, a of a way to to describe it without sounding like a <laughs> trot. <laughs> Shimmy's character in uh, in Billy Madison, if you remember that. I'm, I saw it recently, so it's fresh in my mind, but that would be how I would describe it. I could be wrong, maybe? Tom Holland? Tom Holland, the, the Tom, Tom Holland from uh, Suits. Not Suits, um, Succession. Succession. Tom Hanks. Tom Holland from Uncharted. Wait, what's, what's Tom's name in, uh, what was Tom's name in uh, Succession? Holland. <laughs> what's uh, what's Tom Holland's name in <laughs> Succession? <laughs> I always thought that Tom Holland was the guy in Succession. Peter Parker. I'm not thinking of Brian Cranston. Well, I mean, I am thinking about him. I'm, I'm always thinking about him, but in this case, no, I am not thinking Brian Cranston. I haven't seen any of the new Spider-Man movies. I saw the one with uh, Tobey Maguire in it. Or was he in two of them? Tobey Maguire and um, Kirsten Dunst? 
He's in three. Toby Maguire is a twink? <laughs> Wait, does that mean if Toby Maguire is a twink, does that mean that the guy who plays Frodo is a twink as well? Yes. All right. I, Frodo is not actually a twink, though, is he? Um, Kirsten Dunst was in uh, a season of Fargo as well, right? Was it season two? Season two of Fargo with uh, the guy from Breaking Bad. <laughs> he does! You're right! Oh my god! Is that how people describe him? Is that a real husband? Holy shit. Oh, they actually met on Fargo and got married? Holy shit. That's crazy. Um, that's wild. Um, wait a second. How much does this thing need again? There's quite a few, uh, this planter. It, oh, it only needs 350 horsepower. That's nothing. This guy can do it. Have I watched any good porn lately? No. No, I haven't really. I've just been watching uh, Slow Horses, which is not really the porn that I thought it was going to be. And, um, and I've been watching uh, Traders which I can't wait to watch tonight. And um, and I've been playing uh, Hearthstone Battlegrounds and then farming all day with you guys. That's all I do. It's crazy. All right, we're ready to plant uh, cotton with this bad boy tomorrow, uh, February. Selling stuff today? Silage? No. Wood? No. Digest it always? Oh my god, we got 1.2 million liters of it. It's selling for 144 bucks per thousand liters. There's we've got 176,000 bucks worth of this stuff. The farm shop will buy it. I mean, this thing will pay for itself, right? We're gonna need one of these for slurry anyway. Let's just get a big one. 65,000 liters at a time? Thirty-six thousand bucks. God, that's nothing, eh? Actually, I should probably take this guy. He's a bit a bit more powerful. You can't drive with this one filled? What, like, completely full or just with anything in it whatsoever? Why, is it because it's just going to slosh around everywhere? What's for dinner? I don't know. Oh, I think... I'm not sure, actually. I thought we were having potatoes yesterday, but we did not have potatoes yesterday. I don't know who ate the potatoes. I 
got my suspicions, let's put it that way. <laughs> it was a potato fake out, yeah. yeah it got faked out hard with the potatoes. even making a dent in it. Oh, it is. It's going down a little bit. Look at that. Yeah, unfortunately, I think we're just going to have to clean this sucker out every once in a while. I don't know why the farm shop wants to buy all of this liquid diarrhea, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> the gleam on the top. Mm. <laughs> oh god, I hope this thing doesn't spill. swim in this with a snorkel? You want to find all the treasure? I don't think you'd see anything under there if you had your mask on. Oh. Where does this go? Where do you put this stuff? I don't see a, a shit dumping area. Just in the showroom? Doing a big dirty protest? Maybe it sucks it up in this thing. Oh, maybe you gotta just put it on here and then do this. No? <laughs> well, I got this trailer full of... full of poop and I don't even know what to do with it. It said that the farm shop wanted to buy it, but... I don't even know how to empty it out. <laughs> Farm shop. I don't know where to where to sell it. It's just tagged here. Maybe there's like a, a special like bit underneath where it drains out that I'm not quite, that I'm not aware of. Oh, I can't unload, there's no unload option.
Reddit says use auto sell. Well, that doesn't help me much here, Jim. What do I do with this trailer filled with crap? Is this one actually a, a pumps and hoses one? No, this isn't even. These are just normal ones. Yeah, maybe if I just sell the trailer back to the store now. Nice. It took all the poop with it. So this is just a storage tank, but not a transport tank. Oh, it's interim storage. You can fill it from other slurry tanks. Oh, I see. So this thing can transport 21,000 liters. This one can fit 30,000 liters in it. It's a bit more expensive. Look at that pipe at the back. Imagine lining that one up on like your worst enemy's kisser and then just spraying 30,000 liters of shit right in their face. It's like that scene in UHF, you know, when um, the kid wins the wins the spray from the fire hose. You ever seen that? See if this works. This this gives us the option to overload. So I think we can just sell this stuff. I think if the tank starts to get too full, we can just uh, we can just do it like this, right? Yeah. 
Yes. I think we could probably set up just a, a looping job for this. But I, I feel like this guy is going to have such a hard time finding the, uh, the tank. He's going to just bump into every goddamn thing. And it takes forever to empty out, too. It's not worth a lot per load. 30,000 liters of this stuff is worth just shy of five grand. But the thing is, uh, auto sell will only sell 3,000 liters of it. is ready to be uh, planted, fertilized, and rolled tomorrow. I have to do it tomorrow. I gotta go. Sorry for the, uh, the, the, the break in the action today, but um, it had to happen. I think we're recording Triforce first thing in the morning. Once that's done, I will be here, and we will do this. We'll plant uh, cotton one, and then um, see about getting that forge harvester. We, we, we're making more money now. So we should be able to uh, to get it <clears throat> before the next uh, grass grow, right? We're gonna have to plant some more grass in March as well. So we got a lot of a lot of jobs to do tomorrow. Ask Lewis about Center Parks a lot and in great great detail. I will, Jim. I will ask him all about it. Okay, I promise. Chat. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you have a uh, enjoyable evening. If you're watching the traders. Know that I will be watching it as well. And I will be the edge of my seat. I can't wait. Oh, man. I can't wait to see what happens. All right. Listen. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the uh, support, as usual. Thanks for the subs and resubs. Thanks for the donations. I hope you have a good one. LOL. Lots of love. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. Bye now. Bye.